draws you in more, right? Like good facial animations and like lip syncing and shit really adds to the immersion of a world. You'd be really surprised as to like what adds immersion to a game. Sound design, very fucking important. This is also very good. While not perfect, I think as the AI develops, it'll be better. Send Goku Dynasty. Hey, Bitey, this game. This is Medieval Dynasty, but like in feudal Japan or some shit. Yep. I, I don't know if it's the same guys as Medi Medieval Dynasty. I don't think it is, actually. Skip quests? <laughs> skip quests? Just skip them? It's the exact same devs. Oh. Yeah, but like, is anything different? about the game or is it just all really familiar sausage farming sosogi i did not stream this i streamed medieval dynasty not this game though new game or just reskin it's pretty much a reskin pretty much it seemed like the skill trees were the exact same the settings were the exact same medieval dynasty new settlement vr release trailer captured on meta quest 2 actual gameplay footage yeah i can tell <laughs> i can fucking tell dude yikes Are they out here using a Witcher soundtrack on this? Get me out of this. Get me out of this lobby. Stronghold Definitive Edition. Get me out of this lobby. Uh, exploring Rebirth Island Call of Duty. Has there ever been a trailer Friday where we've not had a Call of Duty trailer? It's the soundtrack from the game. I don't remember that being in the game, but no, it did. Wow, I'm so impressed. Get me out of here. Rain World the Watcher. Rebirth is just another way of saying remake or remaster. You know, it's all marketing mumbo jumbo. To be fair, it is very reminiscent of The Witcher. The la 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 Fuck you. No, fuck you. Wow. I am very impressed by the lack of information in this video. Truly. Pepper Grinder launch trailer by Devolver Digital. You know... Devolver Digital be slacking on the games they be publishing. Real talk. What up, Yunes? They used to be a no-brainer. Like, if you saw Devolver Digital publishing that, that game was going to be the shit. Now it's very hit and miss. Oh yeah, I've seen this. This is nothing like the game though. In a world where she drills you. 
don't want to be drilled. Available now. Okay. Uh, Broken Roads Origin Stories Surveyor. What was the last Evolver digital game that you played that you didn't like? I'd have to see the games Why in front of me and I could tell you. you. They always have. You spent nights under the stars as a child. Wizard with a gun yeah, wasn't as good as I thought it would be. Well, not bad. It just you surveyor. Remember how I told you the wasn't the best. Its maps for the area and the hide us for protection. This is it. Like shit. Even their showcase was trash last year. You took off from home. And normally they're like super fun to watch. It was only a happy accident that you discovered. You could make some serious coin by There must have been some sort of like management or leadership change. You love the thrill of discovering places that fell off the maps or finding the towns that have sprung up since the fall. It's almost as good as getting paid when you tell some new client what you found. The world is a treasure waiting to be found. You're just the fella to reveal its secrets. Wow. Fucking wow. Borrow trauma full release. I could have swore Borrow Trauma has been in full release, Jay. What the fuck? Uh, is, is this not a full release title? Read. Borrow Trauma full release trailer 1.0 is out now on Epic Game Store. Oh, on Epic Game Store. When you guys think of Epic Game Store, do you think, like, excited? But you know, like when the games come to Steam, you're like, all right, cool. And then you look at Epic Games and you're like, oh, man. Like, does anyone feel the opposite? Because you could say, well, you know, it's good to have competition. But like, is Epic Games Launcher really trying to compete at all when for like the last decade they've done nothing with their launcher? Like, I feel like if, like, free games is cool and all, but I don't feel like anybody is choosing to buy a game on Epic versus Steam. And they should probably look into why. Like, if you're going to compete with Steam, you need to have what they have, right? If not more. You can't provide bare minimum for a decade and just keep using the, the free cap. games as like a way to lure people into the platform because they'll collect the game but like I don't know anybody who's just getting on Epic Games to play their library of free games Epic needs reviews and guides and stuff I think at bare minimum they reviews are necessary yes a hundred percent. If I got to go to another, if I buy a game on your platform, but have to go to a different platform to read reviews, you might have a shit platform. You might. I think the only hope that Epic Games has to make their launcher successful is if Gaben dies and someone shit takes his place. That's like the only way shit's going down. Like, yeah, Epic gives more, like, money to the developers, but as the consumer, why do I care about that? I know it's, like, really selfish to think, but, like, it's not my problem. I, when I don't buy a game on your platform, 
I just don't buy the game in your platform. Yeah, so developers get a bigger chunk of the change when it comes to game sales. Steam takes 30%. I don't know how much Epic offers, but like, is it better for devs? Yeah, but is it better for devs? Like when you look in the short term of them making more money on sales, but they overall make less sales because it's not on Steam. If I sell a million copies on Steam, but get hit with a 30% fee versus selling 500 copies on Epic, but get a bigger cut, which one is more beneficial to you? Steam is going to go downhill when Gabe dies for sure. I don't know. I have hope. Like, who would even take his place? Better for publishers pocketing all that money while devs make salary. Mm. Zero cut for less than 1 million copies. So they earn 100% of the income under 100, uh, 1 million copies. But what games that are Epic exclusive have ever fucking sold over a million copies? Probably never, right? Which I guess is good for the devs, but like if you're selling overall less copies of your game because it's an Epic exclusive, because everyone I talk to, everyone I've ever talked to, they're like, oh, this shit's Epic exclusive. I'll wait for Steam. I'm not necessarily like that. Like if I'm really interested in a game and it so happens to be Epic launcher, you know, I bitch about it and then I play it. But... I don't like the Epic launcher, man. Open roads launch trailer. I feel like they'd be better off trying to make some kind of deal with like steam. Cause that's, that's what it's about, right? Is like selling more copies of a game. Gotta go check the whole place out. I don't know, Tess. I, we still have so much to do around here. Come on, it'll be fun. Now, Adventure. if Steam wanted to become unbeatable, add a gamer score to achievements. Right. It's a deal. Ah, uh, damn! I had something else on the tip this of my tongue. What was it? Be great. Fuck! I forgot. Slip my mind. Oops. An emotional interactive adventure. A book. Okay. Uh, become Paragon predecessor Xbox launch trailer. Didn't this game like shut down and like relaunch as something else and then like shut down again? Started with a V. Oh yeah, the controller support is fucking awful on Epic Games, dude. I play I play wireless, like Bluetooth, with my controller. You cannot do that on Epic Games. the The controller needs to be wired one hundred percent of the time, and I don't, dude. I hate wires. Shoot them first. Then make fun of them. Yeah, but realistically, dude, like exclusivity is very anti-consumer. Like the only thing that benefits exclusivity is the platform. I could have swore this game was shutting down again. This is like this game was named something else before and they essentially like redesigned the game or whatever and called it something different. What up, Gerald? What up, VHS? Devolver Games tier maker up through to 2023. Oh, you want to see a tier maker of the games? Okay, that's too many. 
I'm just going to go with Weird West was not that good of a game. Weedcraft wasn't that good of a game. Let's see. Shadow Warrior games. I remember their latest game was fucking dog shit. Game is like six hours long or something crazy. Phantom Abyss is cool. Mm, Serious Sam games. I remember playing one of them and being like, where's the fucking music? Let's see. Uh, Hotline Miami is good, but that's an oldie. Loop Hero is really good. Yeah, but I I just, I really just wanted to see a list of recent ones that came out that I could tell you, like, what's the last game I didn't like from Devolver Digital? I don't even see Wizard with a Gun on here. Carrion was good. Bro Force was fucking eh. Mm, never got to play Ape Out. Absolver never got into. Boomerang X. Yeah, I never got into that either. I don't know, man. I just remember seeing like Devolver Digital games and I was like, you know, this shit's going to be a banger. But now it seems like it's just been like that, like the quality of games they publish just aren't as consistent. Wizard with a Gun was okay for what it was. I just, I, I guess I was just hoping for something else. Nine Souls. Duke Nukem was. Published by Devolver Digital? Question mark? It's like dead cells. Angry Foot? Yeah, that's Hotline Miami, right? Just in first person. What's up, Clicker? It was Paragon that was basically brought out, a bot out and rebranded to Predecessor. There you go. Okay. What up, sweet roll? Awaken, Astral Blade. It was supposed to be a routine mission. But something went terribly wrong. Uh, last one, OTXO. It's Hotline Miami. Okay. to our favorite segment and that's tiktoks chat that's fucking juicy tiktoks that's right yeah buddy yeah buddy uh but we're probably not gonna yeah dude we don't even have a lot of tiktoks we don't i guess i just haven't been on tiktok lately yeah because we watched this one yeah, so we basically just start here and just, that's it. Any twerking ones? Nope. No twerking ones as of yet. I'll be honest with you. Uh, I, 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 I block thirst traps on the reg. 
like, cool, you have an amazing body. And then you go to their page, and then, like, like there is this one video I saw recently of this lady that would, like, show her ass. She'd be doing this. And she would be talking about a product. She'd, like... So this is our fucking angle grinder over here. As you can see, it grinds angles. And then you're like, damn, I know what you're doing. And you know what you're doing. But like, you know, whatever. And then you go to their page and then it's just every video is the same thing. Like if your personality is your ass, blocked. Fucking blocked, dude. Congratulations. You've done nothing. Boring, dude. Like, great ass. But, like, that's all you've shown is ass. Anyways. Welcome to Jurassic Park. <laughs> Welcome. It's just one of those. We already saw that. Oh, dude, now, chat, this one's interesting. This one's really fucking interesting. Um, it says, scientists were able to record brook trout communicating with one another. It's insanity, dude. I've never heard of this in my life. I'm over here stroking my dick. I got lotion on my dick right now. I'm just stroking my Like, bro, what? My That's crazy. Was talking the other day about how ADHDers... Now, this actually kind of spreads some light on ADHD because I, I resonate with this a bit. They're evolving. I saw a video talking the other day about how ADHDers don't <laughs> miss people. And as someone with ADHD, I want to, like, explain because it's true, but it's different. Mm -hmm. I'm sure not everyone with ADHD feels like this, but for me personally, it's like... I don't think about you because my brain is just going, going, going with like a billion thoughts like every single second and there's just always something else like on my mind. And then object permanence, like if you are not right in front of me, if you are not in my vision or like in my mm -hmm. ear or like put in front of me, I am not aware that you exist. I only think about you. When I'm aware that the motherfuckers exist, okay? But like the concept of not thinking about you because you're not in front of me is very real and is a problem. And I like stop to think about you and like stop to like reflect on you and our relationship. Mm -hmm. And in those moments, I do miss you. But like just like all the time like not really like you're not on my mind but this doesn't mm -hmm. mean that i don't care about you like my brain is just constantly seeking dopamine or trying to finish the next task or just stay on top of things or keep going with whatever is in front of me at the moment that like i don't think about you but i still do care i saw a video talk it's true and i'm gonna be honest with you chat i don't think streaming is good for my adhd i don't but I don't see myself stopping either. So I, I I think streaming is probably the worst fucking thing for my ADHD. And all the reason why I don't be wanting nobody that don't smoke around me because y'all got this heavy ass pleasurable obsession with wanting potheads to admit that they have some sort of addiction. Mm -hmm. And I just want to know, once I tell you that I do have addiction, what you're going to do with that information? Mm -hmm. And after you finish nutting off the information, are you going to go to the other motherfuckers who pop all these fucking over-the-counter pills just to stay sane, too? You gonna, Are y'all going to say something? It, it is kind of insane how this works out, though, because, like, as, as someone who does partake in weed, I've had people say the same thing, like, oh, that's just an addiction. I'm like, well, yeah, but, like, nobody be talking about the other shit, which is insane to me. Like, you could be on here, like, addied up every fucking day or taking, like, some, some, some fucking, like, prescribed pills and shit. But we don't talk about that. We talk about how, like, weed... Yeah, you're addicted. You, you smoke weed all the time? Let's go! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I like this guy's editing. Okay. You dare stop streaming. Okay. I don't I don't plan on stopping streaming, but if if I ever decide to, it's probably for the betterment of my ADHD. 
Literally. But even then, it's like it's it's hard not to because streaming's your job and video games I really enjoy. So it's like, how do you take that distraction out of your okay. life? You can't. Okay. Bravo. Bravo. Okay. Bleah. Now, chat. Why is this so trippy? This is not a stereogram, but like, why is this so trippy? Do y'all see the blue pop out? Uh, why is streaming bad for ADHD? Uh, because it's one big fucking distraction. That's what it is. I enjoy streaming, but streaming is just one big distraction, man. Oh, what's that? Oh, I don't, I don't want to deal with this issue I have today. I'm going to stream early. Not saying that I do that, be, you know, when I stream early, but it's just the concept of like, it's such an easy go-to to get away from something that you you don't want to deal with at the moment, right? I don't know. And it's just like I don't retain any information when I stream. Like I'll play a video game and then I immediately forget everything. Is that because I'm too busy distracted by chat? Is it because I'm too worried about something else going on? Like it, streaming just – I don't think it's good for me. I don't. That's not to say I'm going to stop streaming. I'm just saying I don't think it's good for me. I have to either figure out a way to navigate that or stop it. Real talk. How's that a distraction from other jobs? I just told you. When I play a video game offline, my ability to retain information about said video game is much higher than live streaming the game. Uh, I, I purely liked this video just to show how easy it would be to choke out a fucking giraffe. I just want you to, I just want you to acknowledge this. Okay. <laughs> Can't choke out a giraffe. Like y'all nuts. Oh, here we go. You're telling me this man right here can't choke that giraffe out. But we're not talking about playing video games. We're talking about other jobs. Dude, I don't know because I don't work another job. What do you mean? You're just you're distracting me right now. My tummy hurt. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> yep. And I like this video purely based on the fact that we be given geese way too much leeway in life. Like, they need to learn where they came from, Jay. All right? The geese are not something to be afraid of. This guy casually walks outside and overhands a goose out of the sky. Bah! <laughs> Gone. Nowhere to be seen. Oos! I like baked beans cold from the tin. British foreplay. So do I. I genuinely, people think this is ridiculous. I, I love baked beans cold from the tin. So do I. Um, perfect. With a fork or spoon? Spoon. Spoon. I prefer a fork. So you can skewer the last ones. Yes, but what about the, 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 the tomato sauce? Oh, you're right. <laughs> is this I what old Europeans be talking about on the daily? What's going on here, dude? I thought this was interesting because she was doing drone footage and shit, and that's what I want to get into. I would I would love to get into drone photography. I take my whiskey knee, my coffee black in my bag. We know how to have a good time. Oi, man, what kind of beans you like, bro? Beans to Europeans are like Americans to cheeseburgers. Y'all love your beans. You're too sweet. All the girls that wake up every day with boobs, what's that like? This is actually very much ghetto because why the fuck can I put a motherfucking frying pan under this bitch? Please tell me. And it's not going nowhere. It's not fucking moving. This shit is just 
for the birds, one star, I don't fucking recommend. And then it's like, when I sit at the motherfucking table, my back be hurting, so then I just plop these motherfuckers right on the table and just start eating my shit up. This shit is not, I'm telling you right now, it is not fun, okay? I believe I believe that. Every day with Probably not understanding. I was asking because if you were to stop streaming, you would need another job. I just don't understand how streaming as a job is bad for your ADHD, but other jobs like a store or something else are not. Yeah, that's a that's a great question. I don't know. I couldn't give you the answer on that. I understood the question. I just can't give you an answer on it. Um, I'm just saying streaming I don't think is good for my ADHD. That's all. I'm not saying I'm quitting streaming, right? I'm not saying that it wouldn't be equally challenging work in a different job. I just know doing what I've done for the past 11, 12 years of streaming as of recent, I've realized streaming is not good for ADHD. It's just not because it's just, it's a really big distraction. Like I'll try to focus on something in chat, but like I see chat moving or I try, I try focusing on something in the game and I see chat moving and scrolling. So I immediately am distracted and look over here but then, like, as I'm doing that, I'm missing what's going on in the game. And then I'm trying to focus on this here, but this here. And then you guys are giving me shit about missing shit in the game. And then it's just like a vicious fucking closed loop system where I'm just not learning fucking anything. Constantly. You know, it's just, it's, uh, it, it's, it's messy. And... Now that I'm aware of it, it's like, how do I navigate it? I don't need space. I don't want distance. Want to be naked. Keep it consistent. What up, Get Jasper? My my What's up, Sky? You need a listen. I could be there till the finish. But on my post, I've been. This ain't a limit on the minutes I could spend with you. Deep conversations with the lights turn out. Keep me in this duvet while we try to keep calm. All the cares that we had, we could drive each other mad in the best way. You're the reason that my pages aren't blank. I love the way you never felt to let your ass roll. Does it mean we're not doing a GAT stream anymore? I, what like that, the fuck are like you talking that. about? How are some of y'all going around living life not caring what people think about you? Listen, man. Where am I, my, 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 my fucks to give, they're frozen. When I was young, <laughs> I was rich with fucks to give. Uh -huh. I became older. Uh, I, I became poor. Poor. With facts to give. You know why? I saw that everybody have their own head. They don't care about what I want. They don't care what I say. Say whatever you want. They're going to say whatever you want. You know, this is the way you go through life. Everybody have their own pack, backpack to carry. Why are they going to carry about me? You know, be yourself. Be happy. Do what is good for you, for your heart. I wish you the best. Very true. There you go. So it's kind of like unstructured multitasking misery and distractions i wouldn't say it's miserable it's just you know i would really like to enjoy video games like i used to like being able to sit down read a note and then understand how the note fits into the world but as a streamer i forget about it dude i learned nothing my biggest issue right now with me is not having any fucking uh, memories of things, dude. Like, I have no desire to do the things because the thing is not in front of me. You know what I mean? So it just turns into, like, out of sight, out of mind, and now I don't have any life experiences outside of sitting in front of the internet playing games, which I personally enjoy, but as time goes on, I'm going to want more of that, you know? And, and, uh, I just have to learn how to navigate that. Mm -hmm. You can just play the game since you don't know the lore. Right. But I might not want to because I, how my memory works is I don't know until you, you remind me. Right. Like if you ask me to pull up five games, I really enjoyed in the last year, I couldn't do it. You would have to put the list in front of me. For me to tell you. But once you put that list in front of me. I can recall details from each game. Right. So. You know Elden Ring. I don't remember anything about it. But I know where certain things are in the game. And you're going to find out too. Once we play. All right, man. I just downloaded the game. You ready to go? Playing with that one friend who's OP at every game. I'm just going to put this out there now chat. This is Z-Pat. Okay. 
This is ZPAT. And this is why I'll invite this motherfucker to play indie titles with me. Big facts. Oh, yeah. I just got it down. Nice, Let's nice, go. nice. I'll start a new world for us. All right. I invited you. Yep, got it. All right. I'll, uh, I'll start working on the base. And you want to go out? Yeah, mob I'll hunt? Go do some yeah, stuff like that? I'll, go, I'll do some mob hunting. All right. Bet. Uh -huh. All right. Bet. Uh, finally back. Oh, you're back at the base? Yep, I'm back. Oh, cool. Yeah, Ten minutes us. later. Throw it on the ground. Well, what, what did you get? You've got one mega invincibility armor, the gun of infinite ammo, which is the best gun in the game. Got us an infinite resource modulator, so we never need to do anything again. Automatic base builder, the number one skin in the game. Twelve potions of invincibility, and I got us an infinite So, food so why am I even playing, bro? Why am I, why am I even? Because Z-Pad just be, he be like that, dude. He be like that. He's just so good at every fucking game. And it's like, you turn your head for a second, and he's like, he just knows everything about it now. You're like, man. Shoot that tongue in that head. Oh. Uh-uh. Oh, my God. No, this ain't God. This is Stanley Earl. Shoot that tongue. <laughs> this ain't God. This is Stanley Earl. And I thought this was a cute video. Yeah. You're going to realize this one. The whole can it run Doom game is gonna be- Would you shut the fuck up? Thank you. The whole can it run Doom meme is gonna be the reason why we achieve faster than light travel. An MIT biotech researcher put Doom on a gut bacteria. Let that sink in. A gut bacteria. Doom. Lauren Romlin made a display on the inside of a cell wall using only E. coli bacteria. It's bro, the concept of this. What the fuck, dude? Only E. coli bacteria. It's not powering Doom, but it is rendering Doom. Now, one frame takes about 70 minutes. Gut bacteria are rendering video games, Jay which means it would take about 600 years to play the full game start to finish. But the fact that this is the type of technical advancements that we can achieve by Doom is why I'm happy to be alive. The whole can it That's insane to think about. How high is he? I don't know. But like the concept of being able to run a video game on gut bacteria, I don't know what that means for the future, but like that's really interesting that it, that exists. Life hacks for boomers, part four. The grocery cart drop-off area is not mandatory. If you need to save a few seconds, just oh, what the fuck? Just leave your cart in the nearest two parking spots. Mm -hmm. This may seem like an inconvenience to others, but it's actually creating jobs. Life hacks for hell yeah, boomers, rise up, rise up. Do I wipe first? No. So this guy brought his friend over to his home to use the bidet, and now he's coaching his friend through the bidet experience. Oh. You wipe after. That's the whole point. Okay. Come on, man. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Shoot the yeah. That wasn't the perfect spot. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh, oh. oh. You're going to realize it. Oh. Until the break of dawn, I go. Let's make Mexican queso fundido. And all you need is one pan and a hot cast. You don't need to watch that. When you turn uh. 30 and all your all you are is aches and pains. I can't relate with this, but I'll be real with you, chat. I feel like 26. I feel 10 years younger than I actually am. And I don't know what that's about, but genuinely, like, I don't feel the aches and pains that people in their 30s feel. And I think, I don't know. I seriously fucking feel like I'm 26. Like, I might not be as active as when I was 26, but, like, when it comes to debilitations as it as this, I don't have them. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> that was it, though. I mean, there weren't a lot of TikToks because I'm quite selective with what I like. 
So that's it for that. And then now we're going to play some Elden Ring first person mod. <laughs> that's the plan. Some Elden Eldonian Ring. I, I haven't decided if I'm playing with controller or keyboard and mouse yet. So I'm probably going to go back and forth between the two. Yeah, and the mod is super easy to install. And I played with it for about an hour last night. Uh, and it works out pretty fucking well, to be honest. I don't know if it's going to work out well like on like some tougher bosses. But you can always press the button to uh, go back and forth between first person and third person. It's not disorienting because there are options you can turn off. Like when you get knocked down or staggered, normally the camera's like wobbling all over the place and shit. You could turn that off. Instantly, you could just turn it off. Uh, same with like rolling, right? Like when you roll, the camera would normally do the whole spinning rotation and shit. But like you could just turn that off. So the camera is just constantly oriented and it's not causing, like, motion sickness. Mm -hmm. You don't have to restart. You want to restart. Remember that now. Oh, wait. We got to cancel. This is not what we want to do. We have to run it via the files. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'll be real, when fighting enemies in first-person mode, it really gives you a sense of how big the fucking world is. I want to see that food TikTok, you bitch. Well, you could always go back and look at it yourself. Duh. Duh. Dude, this shit is not... Okay, okay. It, it resized. Good. Good. Very good. Put some meat and cheese in the pan. It was like chorizo meat and some cheese and shit. Yeah, it was something pretty basic. Is it resizing? What the fuck? Give it a second. I was Dragon's Dogma 2 worth? I don't think it's worth $70. No, I don't. I, I, I give the game like a 7 out of 10, but I don't think the game is worth 70 bucks. Fuck no. Uh, according to some leaks about the DLC, that's where the real fucking content is, but we'll see about that. What up, Phoenix? Is the game going to stop at all or this game has like the biggest issue with like just actually exiting. <laughs> wah, wah. All right. We have to go in here properties. We have to go to the installed files browse. And then this is where we have to launch the game. Okay. I got to pee though. BRB. Did I meet the Sphinx in DD2? No, I didn't. And I don't know where the fuck it could possibly be hiding because I have explored every area on the map. So I don't know. You got your reasons, and I got my walls. Oh. 
I don't suggest you do the Sphinx, Jay. It will get you raging whole new levels. Uh, you don't know that. You don't know that at all. Because that game is pretty much a cakewalk. Piece of cake. Yeah, dude, something in this game is like resizing when it shouldn't be. Oh, that's why. Move the fuck out of the way. Oh, does it let you like upscale the resolution? I guess. New game. Is ray tracing even worth it anymore? I feel like ray tracing is just like a gimmick. Like it's not worth the performance hit. Show attributes. I don't know why this is in, like, on my controller specifically. Like, I would like to just. Well, that isn't it. Like, how do I determine, like, help? You know what I need to do? I'm considering keyboard and mouse because I want to see how it acts with uh, first person mod. I think I'm going to take this. But I'm going to go like all fucking health. Yeah, you can't really change your key bindings in this game either, which fucking sucks. It's all blown out and shit. No, it's not okay. Why is this so difficult with keyboard and mouse? Just like, let me go down. Like, I've already determined this, so like, let me just go down now. You know? We don't need anything with that. The eye position is important. Also, eye size is important. Mm hmm. The eye spacing. It's got to be realistic. Hmm.
Doesn't look very happy. Mouth protrusion, uh, mouth slant, occl what's occlusion? Ah. Mouth position. Like, you're not going to see any of this anyways. Oh my god, is that like meat K? the Elden Ring isn't actually a ring. Hmm. That kind of looks like me, me K. But we just need to change the hair. <laughs> nice. Remember, there's a multiverse of Stevens chat. Berries and cream, berries and cream. What if in this universe he just has like a beautiful. He has like he wears a wig. You know? That's a good one. That. Luster, it, that's the uh, that's the grease, right? Yup. Okay. Skin features, facial hair, eyebrows don't matter. The beard. <laughs> I like the concern face more. Okay, skin. Oh, yeah, some greasy skin. The dark circles, I earned those. But it, it doesn't show up as like bags under the eyes. Don't, don't overcomplicate it. Is there a way that I can like make the body different? Alter body. There you go. Oh yeah. This like changes the size of your head and shit. Can't really do what you want. The musculature. Jack Steven? It just looks like a regular character at this point. What the hell? How did I make him so thick last time? Yeah, 
bit 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 frog like I'd say yeah I'd agree it's not really gonna matter because you can't see him in first person Steven McGirth McGirt Okay. Keepsake? What's good to grab? Probably this thing, right? Because it increases your max HP. A golden seed. Enhanced sacred flasks. Okay, I'll go with that. Yo, his face looking kind of fucked up in there. What the hell? Look at this. Oh, no, it isn't. Okay. It looked that way. Uh, finish? Yes. All right. Mm -mm 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 -mm. The Fallen Leaves. Tell a story. What's up, Grim? The great Elden Ring was shattered. In our home, across the fall. Yeah, 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 dude. The land. Skip it. Let's just fucking get into it, man. All right, now I have to figure out how to work these keys. Like, I don't want the shield. So we remove that. I think in, you got to, like, do this. So that's what happens, like, when you dodge. We're still going to fucking die here. I had the flu for my birthday. Me too, Blay. How, how did that go? Thank you for your 92 months. How can you dodge but looking straight? That's it's to a it's on by default, but I do that to prevent motion sickness. I don't know what this circle in the middle of the screen is. Did you ever figure out what that was, Aztec? I don't know what the circle is, because you can like turn it off and on. Very poorly how it went. Unfortunate. It's not a reticle. Uh, I mean, like, because that's the reticle, the little dot. But I want to know what that other thing is. Probably to help with spell casting. Huh. Imagine a 34 year old and a nine year old just shitting themselves and barfing everywhere. Then I got admitted to the hospital. Oh. Sounds fun. I'm dying. I'm dead. Doesn't it say in the mod info? Nope. Not from what I saw. It's honestly not that bad, judging spacing and shit. It's really not. From what I, I... I fought like a few things yesterday, just trying to test the waters, and it doesn't seem that bad.
I think the hardest thing is dealing with uh with the key binds in this game because they're so fucking atrocious. I demand a helmet free gaming experience. You're never gonna see the face though. Yeah, this just gives you a really good scale of, like, what the world is like. Well, okay, so the reason why I wasn't going to go with a controller originally was because uh, I loaded up with my, my other white controller, and now there's stick drift on the right stick. So whenever my company comes over, they get the fucking shitty sticks. See, what I have to do now, because everyone's got the gorilla grip, apparently, and they're fucking up all my controllers, nobody touches this one but me, okay? It's crazy how I'm the only one that touched this controller and it's still working, but now my other controller on the left one's got a fucking dead zone on it, and now this one, conveniently, origami, street, dacron, bitey, all fingering my fucking controller, it's all fucked up now. So y'all don't get to touch my fucking red controller. I'm locking that one up. It might not be you, Origami. I'm just saying I haven't had that issue until y'all started touching my fucking controllers. I, I bet you anything it's fucking bitey, dude. I bet you anything it's fucking bitey. Got old nasty sweaty hands and shit. Like, even this area looks fucking different, doesn't it? All right, so I got to figure out how to do this. Like, how do I switch to this? You're fucking done, bud. So I put that away, and then I think I can... There you go. Dude, no, Bitey be over here sweating his hands off. Like, he'll hand the controller to you and it's dripping in sweat. Always someone else's fault, never yours. Yeah, 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 dude. I thought you quit Overwatch. Why do you keep referencing it? Hmm? So is there a good way of like tracking the bosses I've killed and shit? Why are you outing their business? Cause their business is fucking my controllers up. I wouldn't think origami's is fucking my controller, but it's bitey Dacron or fucking street dude. It's one of those three that are fucking up my controllers, dude. What's up, Dakrin? Not me. It's one of yous. It's one of yous. What's the build plan? I'm going all fucking health and all like endurance to lighten the load of armor. I'm doing it, dude. I don't care. At least in the beginning of the game. Whatever the issue, problem, or negative outcome of any action with the barbecue and the cookout genre, it's Bitey's fault. Mm. You made that up. Yeah, dude, I'm going full fucking max health. And then if I find a weapon that I like, I can just spec into that.
Whitey equals scapegoat. Hey, man, everybody has their roles to play, okay? Everybody has their roles. So is this considered a boss? The real strat is to have a stroke because then you can't hold a controller anyways. Hmm. Soldier of Godric. This has got to be a, a boss. You got all the reach right now. What the hell? Okay, you're trolling. Okay, so I got this open just in case. It's not the thing. It's this. So I've killed a... I don't know. Where the fuck is it? Soldier of Godric. So that one's done. Yeah, I've played Elden Ring before. Really long time ago. Like when it first came out. Yeah, I'm going to show you what it looks like. Track dodges. Watch this shit. Watch how bad it is. This is what happens when I dodge. So you're welcome to the individuals that have uh, motion sickness. Be glad it's not on. And that's what it looks like with the, the tracking dodges off. Dude, everything just seems so immersive in first person. It's fucking amazing. Oh, and if you, like, if there's a point, like, if you're trying to traverse something with your, your mount, just hold Q, and then it just goes back to this. Or uh, hold in right-click if you're using controller. Furled furled finger. Uh. <sighs> I don't know if I'm going to try to kill this guy right off the rip, though. I'm going to... Man, I'll give it a go. Fuck it. I'll give it a go. Look at that, dude. It really, this really gives you an idea of like how big the world is in comparison to who you are. No, the, the field of view I turned all the way down, it, it looked like a fish lens before. So I got it at 80. I think normally it's supposed to be 60, but because it's first person, it might just have a default of 80. Planted all my pole beans, cucumbers, and tomatoes. Oh, yes. 
tarnished, are we? Come to the lands between for the Elden Ring? Of course you have. No shame in it. Unfortunately for you, however, you are maidenless. Without guidance, without the strength of runes, and without an invitation to the round table hold, you are fated, it seems, to die in obscurity. Luckily for you, however, there is one shining ray of hope for even the maidenless, me, Vare. Take care to listen. Are you familiar with grace? The golden light oh. that gives life to you, tarnished. Yep. You may also behold its golden rays pointing that We already know all this. Castle, the home. If a castle, if you By the way, did you guys know you could fucking skip the castle? I didn't know that. All right, here we go. We're going to try killing this boss. Damn, that's going to take getting used to. That is gonna take some getting used to, brothers. Fuck me, bro. <sighs> sweet, bro. Fucking sweet. Oh, hey, man. This this gotta change the the way we look at this. First person unplayable for me. Have you tried it? It's doable, you just gotta... Sometimes you keep getting stuck. Damn. Can you lock onto the target? No, there's... It, it fucked around... According to the dev, it fucked with uh, the way combat works and shit. Watch the hubby rage over this game last night. Well, this is one of those games. I'll give it a few goes and then I'll leave. Go grab my mountain shit. What's up, Thor? There's this. I just don't know what this is for. I think that might be magic. good.
change if you're having two handed or not. What do you mean? Yeah, I have arrows for the bow, but what do I need the bow for? I'll come back to this fight because I don't really care. Like this playthrough, if I'm going to be beating every boss, I am going to fucking over level myself and have no worries in the world. I will fucking use summons. I will come back to dumpster that hoe in 30 hours from now. Bet. Because I don't even like this weapon. I like spears and shit. Haven't decided if I want to like go a shield or anything. I just know I'm dumping points into health. A lot of it. Yeah, I'm just going to kill boars. That was my plan. You're a tarnished, and I can also see that you're not after my throat. Then why not purchase a little something? I am Kale, purveyor of fine goods. I am of an old selling wares as I travel. The land has been tainted by madness since the shattering of the Elden Ring. It's only tarnished like yourself. Easiest farm I know. I don't think I'm going to need to farm like that, though. There's plenty Let's of content in this game. Welcome. You know, you should buy a crafting essential. The kit costs but the import. Yeah, I don't think I can afford that yet. I wanted to grab the crafting kit, but we could always come back. Goodbye for now. Goodbye. Do we sit here until like nighttime and then that lady comes about? Past time until nightfall. 30 hours of nothing but killing boars. I think someone did that in World of Warcraft. Oh, okay. This one's not here. I just, I, dude, I fucking love this shit. Look at this. Just like the sheer size of the world you're looking at from the actual view of your character is so immersive. What are you doing? The hell? Here's the indicate auto aim. Oh, so maybe maybe this is for maybe it's for aimed aimed attacks. Uh, so I got to do this and then I hold this and then I could shoot stuff. So if I turn that on, what does it do? That doesn't do anything. This view is tight and it's a super easy install and if you're like stuck on a fight or something that you don't like or like it's really hard to fuck with first person there you go you just go back to it pretty easy I could change some fucking keybinds off of my uh off of the keyboard. 
the problem is is that there's several uh th there's like several actions tied to one key which i hate what up celtic Oh my god. I think some of these fights are going to be nuts. But if I get hung up, I'll just go third person. What the hell? Like, look at this, dude. This is insane. Just looking at this. Dude, what? That's how big these walls are. Damn. We have a mod command. It's just called first person mod. That's it. Just first person mod. What's up, rat? No, you, you can still choose to do one hand and two hand. You can. That's what you're asking. Hello? Why is it foggy looking? That's just how the game is. I think at night Greetings, you're more prone to fog than daytime. Traveler from beyond the fog. I am Melina. I thought Mel Melina was that fucking hard boss. Want me to tell you where the second Uchi is? No, because I don't care about the Uchi. Just chose the starting class because it had like a bow already and armor. I offer you an accord. It's Melania. No relation. Have you heard of the finger maidens? They serve the two fingers. Uh. Offering guidance and aid to the tarnish. But you, I am afraid. Where's my head looking? Maidenless. I can play the role turning to aid you. You need only to the foot of Except Then it set summon me. Ah, I bequeath yep. Use it. It will summon a torrent. Treat him with Oh my head was backwards, that's why. Uh okay, so I gotta get this under wraps here, so we choose No. Let's switch to that. And then I think the button is hold E. Wait, if you hold E, you get to look around too. Wait, can I do that when I'm running? Yo, okay, okay. Sheesh. All right. Yeah, I don't think I need that auto aim on. That's probably something to do with like magic. YouTube stream's not working because YouTube's fucked. Just an FYI. YouTube won't let me edit my go live information, so I can't go live. It is live. Is it actually live right now? What the fuck? It was telling me it wasn't live. Weird. All right. Well, there you go. I don't want to fight that big knight, dude. Sometimes I'm noticing, though, that, like, my character is queuing up attacks. Uh, 
you dirty snitch. Dude, I don't like the fucking night guy. I'm not a fan of him. He just fucks my world up. I can't like straight up look behind me though. Are we doing a death counter? I mean, you can if you want. Death betting on bosses? No. No. Listen, every time I run bets, only like three or four of you join. Uh, big lame. So it's just the same three people like winning over and over again. War stomp and a whetstone. It's because you never run bets. Right, right, right. Of course, of course. It's definitely because of that. Yeah, that's weird. It's like doing it twice so I can't execute. I love that I could see the detail of the enemies when I murder them. Oh God. Dude, now the bats are here. No fucking thanks, man. It's like I pressed the attack once and they're like, you want to do that shit twice, brother? Ow. Mommy! That's not true, Kyle. That's not how that works at all. What do you mean? This just proves that y'all live in your own fantasy land. You know that? No. <sighs> what a pale pink potion. I don't know why I'm attacking twice every time. This is going to fuck me up so much in boss fights. I'm pressing the attack button once, Jay. I don't get it. I'm leaving.
Restart what? I remember that being an issue with, with the last time I played. It, it's like it chambers attacks for some reason. So like you'll press it once, but for some reason the game's thinking you're pressing it twice. This tiny golden aura is the grace of the earth tree. This light once shone in the eyes of your tarnished brethren, but now it is all that guides you. You can see them, can't you? The rays of grace that mm -hmm. guide you through. Upon the cliff in Castle Stormvale, a demigod. I want to go get a, a, a lamp, but I have to go to the if the, rays of grace the other area to get it. Then the Elden Ring what poorly hung? beckons you. As an ally, by I pray that you are to face the challenge presented by the ring. Doesn't isn't she supposed to like show up here? Damn, dude, look at this shit. Sheesh. Sheesh. It's a good looking game. That's a good looking game right there. Yeah, that's weird. She's supposed to like show up at some point, I think. All right, so yeah, I, I want to get myself a a lamp, and I think that requires me because this guy actually I gotta buy that crafting kit too. Oh, this mod works with seamless co-op too. Wait, weren't you? Well, you're back. To buy. Yeah, I gotta buy that crafting kit. Then I can buy some of these books here. Here's a torch. I need to buy all this shit. I don't know what these do. Buy that. Buy this. I'm glad you took my warning to me. Mm. Okay, equipment, remove, put the torch in that hand, item crafting, I can make arrows if need be. There's two caves over here. There's this one, which has wolvies in it. Level your weapon via the anvil there. I, I, I don't need to. Listen, man, you're dealing with a fucking pro. Sit back and watch the motherfucker beat the game in first person, okay? Me, I'm searching for my purpose, given to me by my mother. Know who you're dealing with country. here, huh? Long ago, for the reason that I yet live, burned and bodiless, there is something. For Remember, I'm not trying to use the the Uchi. I've acted the finger maiden. Why would I? Why would I invest no in leveling that up? I am no maiden. Fuck it, give me controls, I got this. I, I don't think you do. There you go. Look at that. Now we're working. Yeah, buddy. Damn, one tappered?
Fuck you, buddy. What am I stuck on? Okay. See, like, there are details in these areas that I've never noticed before. Like, I never noticed there was a dead fucking guard in here. Actually, if we hold down this attack. All right. Unsheathing ability ability is a meta build. Well, there's a good chance I won't be doing that. Very solid chance that I, I... I don't know. I'm just going like full vigor and whatever the, uh, the, the one stat is that lets me carry more weight. I'm doing that first. Yeah, yeah, it, it comes with this weapon. Mm-hmm, it does. It do. I'm just saying, like, I, I'm not going for that build just because I started with Samurai. I just like the Samurai because he starts with a bow and arrow, uh, which is really good. And then the Uchi is a good weapon. Uh, and then the armor is not too bad either. I didn't know he could hit that far. Hello? What up, pineapple? What build am I going for? I don't know yet. I have no clue. I'm just, uh, I, I just know all I want right now is max survivability. And then anything beyond that, I will figure out as I go. Maybe like a sword and shield or like a mason shield would be cool. I'd like that. That'd be neat. Or um, maybe like a two-hander of some kind. I don't know. But max survivability is like priority right now. Yeah, I just wonder how first person mode's gonna be on certain boss fights. Uh-oh. Yeah, there's another one over here. Gotta get in the habit of killing these guys. For their fucking flight pignon. Flight pignon.
cod skin duo it so there are notifiers on your on your uh your reticle here like you'll see it pop up in combat and you'll see like these little these little uh icons that show you when there are enemies behind you or about to attack you might not be able to see it as much because i changed the changed the uh the size of it all right so how the fuck do i use my bow on force back there you go Trying to get used to jumping with F is insane. I need animal bones and shit. Come here, fucker. I'm just gonna need it. You're gonna need a lot of thin beast bones and flight pignon to make the, the fucking arrows and shit. Get you, fucker. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. What was the hardest boss in your opinion? I, I don't know. I, I don't remember. Probably anything that spawns in several bosses at the same time, I think is dumb as fuck. Hate those. Aw, shit. This just, it all looks so much fucking cooler in first person. Just the amount of detail that you miss in third person is higher than you'd think. I fucking hear shit. Yeah, bitch, I see you. Disgusting. Maybe it's because of the LASIK. What? Are you baiting me? resin oh dude they apparently this mod has like some uber kick i don't know how you do it though like apparently it, it yeets them is that a kick that's a kick. Like, it, it, supposedly that will fucking, like, yeet them somewhere. How's it going so far? It's pretty good. We're going to face another boss soon. Uh. Yeah, bitch. Come on down, partner. Oh my. Oh my. I just got my hair did. Hell yeah, dude. You see the icon right there? You see it? It shows where they're at. All right. 
Damn, dude, you go big dick and get the beard trim too? Don't they charge you like hella bucks for that? Hella dollary dues. She goes to a barber and gets it all done for like 40 bucks. Man, must be nice. That shit here would cost too much. Yeah, $40 is a good price. I agree. So these assholes right here, right? We like to deal with those on an individual basis. Tons of them right here, bro. Uh, how do I bust this out? Do this. What's up, Cynic? I feel like, uh, do you go to a black barber by any chance, Cynic? I feel like black barbers be charging way more money than white barbers. love that I can like look up to see if there's any traps or anything instead of having like aim the camera angle in a weird way. I don't know. It just doesn't feel the same as like being in it and looking up. Mexican woman. I see. Yeah. It's like a Steven, you know, you can't really fucking tell anyways. See, like I remember this. This fucker will just like sit over there. You have to like back it up. Bitch. noble ashes i don't do we have the bell in order to like summon those things yet I think we 
we go level up because there's a good chance we die here. Wait, mine is $56, but they do some pampering too. Hot towel, lotion, beard balm. That's pampering to you, dude? I feel like that's, that's fucking baseline. What the hell? Look at all that HP, brother. You're damn right. Do I actually have a bell though? Do I? I have this, but I don't have a bell. I don't think. Like they don't just give you the bell for freezies. Ronnie should have given it to you. I haven't seen her yet, so that's probably why. But we could probably take this guy on. I mean, we might die a few times, but we could we could do this. Double attacks are going to cuck me in this game. I'm telling you. My second boss already? Yup, yup. You like that? That's two bosses, baby. But which boss is that? Sheesh. Hold on, someone's calling me. VA. Erd Tree Burial Watchdog. Okay, that one's clicked. Excellent. Hubby cut his beard off but left the stash, and I swear it's his vibe now. Strutting around like he watches Top Gun. Hey, man. All you gotta do is support it, you know? Oh, I also beat the Beastman. True. I did. Damn, we scooting. All right. Well, let's go back and get that one thing, eh?
And again, the great thing about this mod is if like, let's say you don't like riding in first person on this, bam, right there. You're just good. It's like on the fly switching. I love it. Fucking love it. Wait. Once well, you're back. Yeah, I do gotta purchase a bunch of shit. Missionary cookbook. There you go. Goodbye. How many arrows do I have on me? Three? Okay. So what's the difference between fletched and this? They just like travel better. Can make two of these. Yeah, because we're gonna need them. Cracked pot are great if you're a big crafter. I've been getting more into crafting, specifically with the bow and arrow. I don't know what build yet. Just going like fat stacks of fucking health. She's still not here. She usually like shows up, doesn't she? Past time till nightfall. Dude, she's nowhere to be seen. How come? Probably should try to kill that guy up here. And then I know there's a cave down here, but we got to like do that quest over here. Right. And then I do want that lantern at bare minimum. So I think what I need to do is head up this way past the castle and try to like get the lantern. It's a shame you can't get the lantern here. Maybe it's because I'm in first person. It like fucks with things. I know it was like that, like in Resident Evil 2. Let's just pass time again. Nope. Bro, this game. Oh my God. Look at this. Let me get those cracked bones, black and little beast bones. Number and egg. Yeah, I remember that guy. I remember that guy, buddy. Get your hands off my penis. And then I saw an interview where he said they didn't actually touch his penis. But he was already caught, so he was like, fuck it. your hands the fuck bitch fuck you gonna grab this over here
Dude, is there specifically anything I have to do to get her to spawn? Like, why has she not spawned yet? We're going to go up here. Another one of these graces up here. A golden sheed. Skirt. Hold on. How do I attack? Ah, oh, right click. You know, the only downside of this is I can't play online. Every time I go to log in online, it says suspicious activity detected. Because you're using mods. You're going on a walk today, eh? I need to get better about going on walks again, too. sword key there's this lady everyone's been grafted Every only to have their arms taken their legs taken so she was brought over here taken i forget for what taken reason but like she had bodyguards the spider did you know if you're grafted by the spider you become a chrysalid it's quite a lot you're all on your own, are you? And heading to Stormvale Castle. Well, that makes us too. But I don't have... It's scary, you know, having your arms cut off. Or legs. Or your head. I want to be like everyone else, but I'm just too scared. I'm nothing but a craven. I'm not but a craven. Oh, you take... The poor thing doesn't... See, I remember that that jellyfish is actually a person. You. It'll be glad of your company. And there's like a quest where you have to like take it back to one of the other jellyfish it was a plum can you pass on a message for me if you see the little chrysalids in stormvale castle tell them i love them and that despite my craven heart i'm sure i'll be joining their club soon enough i'm finally getting the hang of this whole pain thing it was a pleasure oh. Tell them I'm fine again. Okay. I really want a damn lantern, dude. So I think the play here is to go get the lantern. Get you, bitch. Boosh.
Weren't they lovers or something? I don't know, but it's it's shit like that that I remember. It's just it's random small stuff. Oh, I can't use my fucking my torch on horseback. What's this? Ooh, a cookbook. Yeah, I didn't even know this was a fucking way you could go, by the way. I was just exploring one time and I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa wait. I can just straight up uh, skip the castle. Oh, what the fuck? I should get that, right? Storm wall. Yeah, and then you go up through here. Because for some reason they don't include a lantern in this area you have to wait till you get to the next area to unlock it stuck literally stuck i'm stuck bitch move so this is where we need to go souls do I have? 561. I don't know how much it costs. And this guy wants a key to the castle. Then believe it or for a you're a true my name. Presuming you're only Apollo. I'm afraid. Oh right. I can tell you. You've seen that. That's the only it's door. After they declare the Academy cast repelling seats. As you might have guessed. making entry and so on. When they come. Why not? Without one. And you'll never And if you once you've done you can say I know it. But still. Mm-hmm. Find you without one. And you'll And I'm pretty sure you find this guy like fucking dead somewhere inside of the castle. If you get him a key. By the way, I don't I don't mind spoilers, so you know. Feel free to do so if you'd like. Hello, Faku boy. Ow. Oh, fuck. Man, it would be nice if it didn't double attack every time. Great. 
There you go. Die. If you lit this grace on the other side of the castle, if you lit this grace on the other side of the castle, that's why Ronnie isn't there. What, what, what do you mean? That has nothing to do with if she spawns or not. She's supposed to just spawn at the beginning of the game. No, I didn't fuck it up. I've played, listen, I've played through the beginning of this game more times than I can count, which is like five, right? Yeah, like where does she show up then if she, if it isn't like there? She usually just like shows up at that one church. Another cookbook. have to meet her later behind the manor i don't know where the manor is dude i don't think that's true because she wasn't showing up even before look at that fucking skybox sheesh Surprised you found no matter, no matter. Why don't you help? Oh, don't ask. Purchase. Damn, 18 hundo it requires. Have I picked up any stuffs? What do those look like? I don't think I have any of those, do I? Little souls. I do. Damn it, Jay. I wanted to use all of them. All right, so we're gonna place that on this one. Switch. Excellent. And now we can fast travel somewhere else. Hello. Forgive me. I've been testing you to determine if the Elden Ring would truly have you, if you had the metal to endure this long and arduous path. It seems my worries were unfounded. Torrent had your measure from the very start. Well, there is but one other thing uh. I can do to offer you guys. I can take you to the round table hold gathering place. It honestly might be something to do champions. with the round table. Very well. Maybe we Let gotta like go there first. Upon you. 
for but a moment. Oh man, let me touch your fucking hand. Oh. What was that? I was loading in everything. Hello. Oh, this is a rare occasion. I can't remember the last time a new tarnished made their way to the round table. Very well. As your senior, I bid you welcome. It is safe here. You may let down your guard. Allow me a word of advice. As your senior, you are a mere visitor to the round table. Nothing more. A house guest, yet to earn their keep. Remember your place, newcomer. You touched a woman. That's true. There's nothing left to say. I did. See, just like the, the sheer size of this table, you wouldn't really... I mean, I guess you would know in third person, but just seeing it in first person, you're like, damn. Oh, I see you've just arrived. Welcome to the round table hold. I'm Corin, a man of the cloth. I teach incantations, the strength granted us by the two fingers, and explore the secrets of the Golden Order, so that one day, if a tarnished of the Round Table Hold should become Elden Lord, I might counsel them, ensuring order regains its proper form, writing rule over men. By the way, do you... I see it. Do. Most tarnished are blind to it these days. You are something of a rare breed. Well, what do you say? I mean, it would be good to have this shit to like cure poison and all that, right? But that requires a little bit of faith. Catch flame garbo. My faith is at eight, but I'll worry about that shit later. May the golden order shine. Ah, hello. You must be new here. I'm, well, just call me Dialos. The honor of one's house holds little import in these lands. By the way, have you met a young woman named Lanya on your travels? No. She's my servant, but fickle as the wind. Oh yeah, isn't off her for but a his like and she's good as lover gone. a lizard? If you find her, please be sure to tell me. I think so. She's like disguised as something else. Be sure to tell me if you meet a young... She's a servant. But she's a... Uh... lost count of the number. Honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Greetings. My name is Roderick. Really isn't this place impressive? The round table hold. Covert quarters of the two fingers. I never knew the guidance bestowed upon us tarnished. Had such fantastic roots. Elden Ring has lore? Although, this game has all the fucking lore, dude. Like every single thing in this game placed has a, it, there's lore. It's just so convoluted how it's presented to you. It's all a bit much for me in truth. I'm still looking Hello, for Chicago. my purpose. You gonna hug that girl? It's all a bit, I'm still looking. I don't think so. I don't need to hug her. It's so cryptic too. Yeah, and some of the, some of the fucking things are attached to a, uh, a, an armor piece, right? Like you go in here and you can read the, where is it? Actually, how do you, how do you check? Yeah, right here. Sometimes you'll learn about the lore through that shit. Look at this guy. Your new face. No matter. It's all the same. It's not permadrain. It Lay out your arms. it like gives you more poise at the cost of health. The girl you bought here. She's crestfallen and can scarcely swing a blade. But she has a gift. That Helden ring isn't a even a real genie. ring. He's still hung up on that, Jay. Like her long ago. Their eyes share the same hue. I see you've noticed nothing special. I'm trapped, man. all the No. Well, no great. My being a precise. Despite my differences, the weapons get sighted. Uh. Okay.
Greetings, great. I am the circum's great champion. Perhaps you might doing so will grant me th and you. I am sure. Do you think it will where I come from? No. I understand your disdain, but should you change your mind, come pay me. She's like, hey, dog, you want to get hugged? No. Understandable. But if you ever do want to get hugged, I'm your gal. Yeah, this guy don't like talking at all. Look at that face. Well, anyways, let's get out of here and fast travel back to that one church and see if we can, like, you know, do the thing. Wait, how do we, uh... Huh? Wait, how do I fast travel again? Do I just go into the map? I think so. Gotta go to this church. Open map. Yeah, and G is open map for some reason. Wait, well, you're back. Maybe I gotta like talk to him more. There are others of my people who yet survive in these lands. If the mood takes you and you meet one, then offer them some trade, won't you, my people? Wanderers all have long been spurned by the grace of gold, which is why we cannot settle, but instead are forced into this Dude, I want my summoning bell, Jay. Journey. But thanks to that, things are not so different for us now. I Nobody want my summoning bell. I think this makes us, your people, the tarnished, and mine. Perhaps you don't see that no, we have a saying. Lament not your solitude, but if anyone dares harm us, that is our code, just the way we are. Goodbye. Goodbye. Come on, Ronnie, I need you to show up so I can fucking prove Aztec wrong. I feel like it is at night. Maybe I need to wait till noon. Like, come on now. Surely I haven't already bugged this shit. Not once ever have I ever spoken to her and she's like, hey man, you the one that rides that horse? Yeah. Oh, word? The hell? I need them beast bones, brother. I've, I've played this game a few times, like in the beginning. So I'm very familiar with this area specifically. And I've never had it to where she hasn't spawned before. So odd. Oh, damn. We can't see it because we were first person. You? Y yeah, you there. Stop pretending you can't see me. What'd you go and do that for? Some clod turned me into a tree. You were just brave. Thank you. I was pushed out of the cave. Told not to come back. See a sweet roll. Then I would... Oh, when they and so this is all I hope. This guy's kind of useless too, man. Could sneak then I 
Like, he's he's your tailor, right? But, like, the tailoring in this game is shit. It was like a feature that was really never thought about. Yeah, I remember his cave. I'm going there right now. Pretty sure this has like a, a boss combo in it. My fucking favorite. Oh, well done. You made it through that entire mess all the way to Stormvale. And off you trotted to the round table hold. My sincerest congratulations. But how did you find the round table? Oh, you don't have to say it. Before, the round table was chock full of venerated warriors. But now, it's home to puff chests and has been. I fear you've been terribly disappointed. I don't blame you. But still, the round table has its perks. Why not earn a seat? Fly straight and true, so to speak. I don't need a seat. <sighs> Yes, I see. Perhaps it's just as well. Besides, you are maidenless. One can only do so much with the materials provided. But then again, if you should... I think I'm going to miss out on this guy's ways, quest too, aren't I? Because to this guy you requires out. you to do PvP and shit, which we can't do if we're playing offline. Oh. Have you... Ah, then to join the... With the they are... Hmm. Challenge Godric the Great. Decrepit. Worse yet. So. Prepare for the worst. Oosh. Yeah, it's like down here somewhere. Dude, am I out of fucking... I am. Alright. Grab these goodies. Yeah, I have... Like, I've restarted the game, but I've never... Like remotely got close to finishing it again so i just say that i played the game once like you get me out of this area and i don't know what the fuck i'm doing These guys don't count as bosses, right? I don't think they do. Shit. Oh, I stunned him. Right in his face. He's dead. I know. I'm not sure how it's going to be for bigger bosses, but we'll find out. Worst case, I can't do it. And then I just switch to third person, but I've done a few bosses so far without a huge issue. Granted, they're like not big bosses, but still something. I just really like how it makes you. It's just it. In third person, you just don't see how big the world really is. Until you're in first person and everything towers over you. And then I get to see the detail of the enemies that I'm fighting, which is really cool. 
you don't really see that too much in third person mode. I've also noticed I, 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 the skybox seems more visible too. Because in third person mode, your character is kind of like aiming down, right? Like somewhat of an angled down. And you don't see that. But when you're in first person, you, you can't help but see that, which is so cool. Yeah, it's a super easy mod to install as well. I love it. It just sucks that I can't post tri-finger butthole. Or uh, my, my personal favorite is be wary butthole. Be wary of butthole. This is going to be a pain in my dick to get. Maybe not. Let's see. I'm going to get it eventually. Bitch. Oh, we did it. Easy mode. I'm going to get like a spear or something. I remember needing these smoldering butterflies a lot too for arrows, fire arrows. Look at that fucking sky, dude. Oh, it's just like clouds, but I'm cooming. All right, that guy's uh, cave is down south here, and there's like another merchant that I could buy stuff from. Skyrim is first person, isn't it? Anybody know? Yeah, Skyrim's first person. It can be both, though. What do you need? I don't want any trouble. But third person doesn't feel as good. These are just clues. We don't need clues. I want this. The club might be good. Like a club and shield. Can't afford both though. I'll just stick with what I got. Done? Well, be on your way then. K 
caves like right over here, I think. What's up, Fuzzy Skull? Yeah! Trying to navigate these fucking things sucks. Get rid of that. In the dark? Oh, oh hello, bro. Oh, you need help, oh. man. Oh, oh, oh. Can I level? Let's see. More HP? Yes. I see you down there. You walk. There you go. Oh, fuck. It's a little hard getting used to like running and slash attacking. What up, Ferris? Talking about Remnant 2? If you think, if you concentrate like hard enough, this feels like Skyrim right now, right? Just download it so I'm kind of excited to play it. I, I think you'll have a good time. Keep in mind that any file that you install in like when you're installing all the mods, when you, uh, in the any file, you can change certain things. So by default, if you get staggered while hit, your fucking camera will like go all over the place. And uh, it could be pretty disorienting. So if you go into the any file, you can change that one specifically. It's pretty good, Ferris. I'm loving it. I feel like hella immersed in the world right now. What's this? Yes, absolutely. Summon to homie. I don't give a fuck. You think... You think I'm not going to use everything available to me? Run. Another one cumin somewhere. He's over there being chilling.
Oh, you just downloaded Elden Ring. I thought you were talking about downloading the mod. a sewing needle good job buddy that's another boss down all right well which one was that well the two times demi human chief got that one. Oh, you downloaded skyrim oh have you never played skyrim it's a good game Whatever you do... Oh, that's right. You said you can't. Well, they have mods on console now, but I think it disables your achievements, so don't download mods via that way if you care. What about Fallout? You played Fallout at all? Oh, where the fuck am I? Oh, I'm on the other side. That's right. Isn't this like where the dragon thing is? You haven't played Fallout. What the fuck? You'll like those. I think I'm going to go into that cave next. I feel like shit is so much easier to kill on horseback, man. Like, this is insane. There are some absolute benefits to this... To this fucking mod. The Dragon Communion. What do I need for this? Dragon hearts? Oh, that means I gotta kill dragons and shit. What up, Dr. Bidness? How you doing? Happy Friday! do I craft per flight pinion? Where does it say? Times 10? Okay. Times 10 it is. I had mighty shot on this bow. I'm out of arrows. I know, dude. PC. Keep in mind, though, don't get too hung up on on the lack of PC, because PC comes with its own set of fucking problems too. You know. Just 
Just nobody ever talks about them. All right, got more arrows on, on deck. These are straight up fire arrows, so we'll do this. What's up there? glowing far to the east you'll find the cathedral of dragon communion a place where draconic powers gather pc problems what pc problems dude fuck pc problems man pc is great when it works but when it doesn't work it's it makes me want to rip my fucking hair out. Like I, I have a PlayStation five and there is absolutely something just pristine about turning on the console and the shit works. Like it might not be the best graphics and it might not be like, you know, the highest FPS, but at least I know when I press that button on the console, it turns on and it works. <gasps> I pressed F to jump. Spent the last two days troubleshooting my PC because it wouldn't boot up. Had to get a new SSD. Isn't that fun? Having to like figure out what's wrong with your shit. Half the time you're dropping frames anyway. So are you really gaining much? In, in gaming in 2024, you're absolutely fucking right, man. Nothing ends up being consistent FPS at all. And you're just left like frustrated and pissed. I know it's like that for me. I'm one of those guys that likes to just, you know, like get everything working and never touch it again until I absolutely have to. Yeah, I know you're talking. I know you're saying in general. I know. Turtle neck meat. Oh. What are you doing besides running around and torturing wildlife? Uh, beating bosses? Becoming motherfucking Elden Lord boy? All right, so we got that. Now we got to go back here, it looks like, and talk to that guy. He should be like, Oi, mate, thanks so much. Appreciate that, man. There you go. Cool. Wait, you got it. Like, you don't even need to give this guy that shit. I don't know if he has a purpose. God damn, look at that face. Oh, what made you go in my mum and that sewing kit was all I had to remember. I always wanted to be just like sweet old mum. Then I s suppose I... I don't think I've ever edited a piece of gear with I... a tailor. Thank you. You're very... I always wanted to... Then I... Uh, I don't think this character even has a good quest line, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, okay, we are gonna go over here. We're gonna go down yonder, and I'm gonna go in that fucking cave right there. Hell yeah. What is this live stream status, huh? What is this? Chris O posting in my live stream status channel, disgusting.
think there's a boss I can fight here at night too on the bridge. Monkey boy. What are you doing? Subathon tomorrow, by the way, chat. Any uh any monetary any new subs, resubs, gift subs, tips, or bits will uh, add to the overall stream time tomorrow. Similar to last time. So if you're interested, if you have nothing to do and you wanna watch the stream, I'll be here. I think we got like two hours on the clock, maybe. We'll see. I have to add it all up tonight. Oh, fuck. like actually see things bless so if I sub now it will add to the timer tomorrow yes anything that's been given this week as of like Monday, we'll count towards the subathon tomorrow. Because before we would do it just the day of counts, but then there would be people where like their subs were like not, not aligned with it. Thank you, Mergrin, 1994, for gifting five community subs. Thank you, Grim, for your five gift subs. I appreciate that. Also, top three gift subbers of the month get VIP next month. That's always been a thing, though. Trying to make a few extra dollary dues for Frankie's fucking surgery. Soy. Dude, I remember this. Uh, if you do this, hold down shift left arrow. This, I think he blows up. Maybe not. I know there's a certain enemy that blows up. all the dollar dues. I don't know about that. Hi, Jay. Hope you're well. Needle. Oh, fuck. Kangaroo, do you think for the 67 months? How you doing, buddy? How have you been? I'm in love with this fucking mod chat. I'm loving it. Now, ask me that again in a few hours when I have to fight, like, the wolf boss inside of uh the academy just finished work on a friday too at that oh shit this feels like a whole new game man it really does Thank you, Diamond Diode, for gifting five community subs. Diamond I thank you for the five gift subs. Appreciate you, man.
And keyboard and mouse isn't too bad once you get used to the controls. I mean, jumping with F is a bit fucking weird, but you know. Come on, there's something back this way. Smithing stone. something down there I think that's the right way to go we want to go the wrong way which is coincidentally the right way Yeah, Frankie got his blood work back. It's insane. Like, he's in perfect health. His teeth are just fucked. It's good, Jasper. I really like it, man. I really like it. I feel so much more immersed in this world right now. So, mighty shot would be... What button? I know there's more than one fucking dog in here. There isn't. What? Like, I love being able to see the characters up close and shit, dude. It's so good. Dude, the, the double attacks are fucking me right now. Ow. I am kind of curious though, why there are no mimics in this game when every other Dark Souls game has had Mimics. Maybe not Demon Souls, but every other one has had Mimics. And they just decided to move away from that in this game? Why? All right, so here, I think I can fucking shoot That's not that guy. It's probably this guy. Yeah, there you go. They blow up. I knew it. Soy. It takes a little getting used to the, uh, the like distance. Oh, he got fucked.
today, Satan. The value that bows have in this game are high. I just wish you could make like a ranger class. Like, yeah, there are bows and shit, but like nothing's really felt viable. Happy Friday, Andy. Mm-hmm. All right, there's a good chance I get fucked up here. It's part of the experience, I suppose. A blunt weapon works better on these guys, though, yeah? I know. Bosses look proper sized. Big facts. Goodbye. Man, if only I had the, the, the bell so I can summon people. That'd be nice. an up smash there what the fuck that is What's that? 
There is a mimic in this game as you can spawn it for yourself. Where do you, where do you find the fucking mimic normally then? I don't recall ever seeing a mimic in the game. Maybe it's like DLC files or some shit. Water. Where the fuck are my runes? Slice that ass up, boy. Am I in danger? Mimic terror. I was talking about like an actual mimic chest. Yeah. All right, we did it. Nice. Not too bad. Took a little bit, but we did it. Hey, why am I going to the one place? The statue vendor? I don't know what you're talking about, dude. Twin maiden husks at the round table, that statue vendor. Why am I doing that? That should be where your bell is if you skipped Ronnie. Oh. Are you talking about this thing? These aren't statue vendors. All right here, the spirit calling bell. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Hey, a short spear. I could get down on a short spear. Was that 112, 18? Uh, I want that short spear. I don't know if it's going to be any good, but we're going to see. Let us level up. He, uh, he don't want nothing to do with us. Uh, what do you need? I have little time to spare. What do you mean a house guest? Oh, are you aggrieved at the notion you were but a visitant here? Then you would do well to remember the first words of grace given to you. Stand before the Elden Ring and become 
the Elden Lord. If those words held any meaning to you, follow the guidance of grace. Lay low the shard bearers and claim for yourself. Do so, and the doors to the round tables in the chamber will open, and you will receive the wisdom of the two fingers. The two fingers. Once the wisdom of the two has a true I have high I'm cities, Nambi Bambi tarnished, think us no more than a shelter from the rain. Okay. Alright. Milady. Pleasure to see you. Thank goodness you're safe. I'm still looking for my own purpose. Not easy by any means. But it's what I must do. But you're telling me I possess. I don't believe. So I basically, do the fucking dude takes her in, and she can tell. buff your your shit. If I do, I suppose your spirits. Took you no matter lay out your arm. The girl. I could stay with an absurd. I refuse. I don't. Okay. Wait, where do you see hacks at? The point of the channel lore per channel, lore paragraph yeah, 10. Yeah. No matter how many tries a challenge might take, it only took Brobecue one try. Therefore, Brobecue always first tries easy. Any challenge? If I do, I suppose I'll ask. That ah, doesn't make sense, if dude. I, do, I suppose I'll ask my. That doesn't sound like me. I feel like there's some serious misunderstandings going on here. Oh, there, you hacks. Did you change the color of your name, bitch? I don't think you did, but it is either orange or that color. You changing the color of your name on me? Leveru No? Okay, maybe I'm just tripping today. Yeah, max equipment load and stamina I want to be pretty high. But all health, dude. We're going fat stacks of healing. Or uh vigor. He's losing it. Yeah, your color seems slightly off though. I still think it's a it's a tad redder now. Uh, okay, so. Oh yeah, who is that fight? I gotta mark that off. Stone digger troll. Okay. That one's done. I need eye drops. Give me a second. So. I make his bed for him. And now he sleeps under the bed. Don't you little munchy boy, little butt skin man, the best friend in the whole world, the Lemmy Lemmerton, the Lemmer Lord? Oh my goodness, look at him just snoozing on the floor. He just snoozing on the floor. He don't care, he just wants to snooze. Snoozing for a bruising. Little tiny boy. Look at that lummy. Truly blessed to see a lummy that size. Yeah. Yeah. I have a theory that the the longer lemmy Frankie has, the better luck you have for the day. <clears throat> What's up, Crofty? All right, where am I gonna go? I'm, I think I'm gonna head down this way because I think there's something right there I gotta fight.
Yep, happy Friday. Actually, we should wait till nighttime and fight that boss. One of those night riders. Wait, so this thing does 115 plus 22 and this does less? Man, the Uchi early game really is good, isn't it? I see something here. Determination. No breathing. I'm not trying to fight ads on top of the boss fight. Now I'm going to attempt to fight this individual raw. Nothing? No damage? Feel good. He's baiting me, bro. I knew it. Mommy! Uh 
Honestly, not too bad so far. Summon your horse, peasant. Uh-huh. And then... Oh, fuck! got company. Oh, he got me, dude. That was close. That was close. I think I can get that, dude. Honestly, like once you've fucked around with the movement a bit and learned the uh the way that like you dodge and shit it, it it feels pretty good it does oh what the hell it's daytime now Are you sparring patches? What, what do you mean by that? Like, am I killing patches? Or are you sparing him? Uh, I don't know. Should I? Is there like any reason to spare him? If you don't know, then no, I'm murdering him. Yeah, but if you kill Patches, you get his bell bearing. So I don't think even that matters. Hello, fuck boy. I'm back for more. I am absolutely back for more, brother.
Tapak. Slashes are really good. everything about this first person mode. I do too. Oh yeah, bitch. Just get more mana, that would be nice. Hitting me. You're a whore. Dirty whore. Dirty whore. What's he doing? Bitch! Get fucked on! In first person, dude. Get fucked on, mate. I gotta say, I feel like it's kind of easier. Did I beat the other horse guy? Not the one at the beginning, no. What up, Saul, dude? Nah, I figured I'd come back to him later. We gotta get that weapon out of that crate that those two trolls were carrying. Oh god, this asshole. Get 
Shit, every time I go to heal, this hoe is right here. Fucking bitch. He's dead. I don't know if they spawn during the day, though. They do, just really far back. kick button is so is that the kick button quasi thank you for the 64 months so this mod added one thing where the kicks make small enemies go flying and i just want to see what that's about i mean not really They do get knocked down. kill that guy in the back. He, he didn't see me. Would you fucking get over there? I don't know why he's not interested in me. souls baby dude two hits with this thing fucking staggers what the hell You bitch. I accidentally added an easy mode mod. How? Looks 
too easy to me when I played this game. I had so many problems. So what you're saying is I'm just really good at the game. I mean, that's what I'm hearing is that you're like, damn, Jay, I'm hella impressed with how good you are at this game. And you make this game look way easier than it was for me. That's all I'm hearing. You know, that's all I'm hearing right now. Hey, man, why are you so good? Uh, what am I looking at here? 42 arrows, 18. We're still good on arrows. I question his skill every day. Bitey. What do you want about? Oh my, the dumpening. What, what the fuck is it about attacking several times? I don't get it. So does a, hold on, let's see. Does a mighty shot Pierce targets? I would never know because I missed my hit. Hit, hit your shots, Ked. I think everybody here who's played Elden Ring before, you should try this first person mod. Genuinely. Oh, that was a boss I have to mark off on my list. And I think there's a boss down here too. The pumpkin head man. These flowers destroyed me every time, the big one. Sir, that's because you're just not well versed in being a god gamer. See, watch this. See, that right there lights them on fire. I'm just trying to get better about uh, switching my attacks on time. It's the wrong button. try you yeah. I wonder if first person mode actually makes the game easier just like because of your perspective
Well, I got to fight this asshole in here, so I think it's your class. Samurai, I think, is like the quote unquote meta class because the Uchi Katana is really good. I choose it because it has a bow and arrow as a starter with arrows and armor. Yeah, that's a pretty solid class. All right, here we go. First try, dude. What the fuck is that damage? So the good thing about this Uchi Katana is that it has blood buildup on it. So if if you hit them with enough of the blood buildup, it just takes a huge chunk of damage away. Mm-hmm. Possible they gave some leeway with iframes and attack ranges too, which would make sense to overcome not having the third person angle. I don't think anything else was changed. You can look at the mod page. It just says that it puts you in first person mode and there's like, there's some auto aim, this reticle right here, but I don't know what it's used for. It could just be for magic or something. Are we? No wonder you should turn up here. I am Salen, her sorcerer, quite plainly. Why are you here? I want to learn sorcery. Ah, a yen for glinstone sorceries. I dare say your proclivities are far from ideal. Oh well, perhaps nurture will defy nature. With a bit of luck. But one must choose one's master's wife. I was exiled from the Academy of Rea Lucaria as a reviled apostate witch. Do you still wish to learn from me? <laughs> well, you are a piece of work. Very well. Let me just go into research yeah, no, mode about a mod I've never seen for a game I haven't but played I that's itself a bunch of lore that needs to be learned. Words. Anticipate. Listen, man, you're discrediting my fucking skill as a gamer right now, saying that this mod probably adds in some sort of extra iframes. And I'm curious to see if you're right or not. That's all. You know? Have you considered that I'm just a fucking god gamer? Young apprentice put on this earth to be a god? Comes to magic. So, to become a source now. I mean, I know it's not believable, but, you know, it, it is what it is. So, we killed... I don't know, is... Is Bloodhound Knight the one we killed? We we killed Mad Pumpkinhead, but is Bloodhound Knight Darwill the one we just murdered? That's why being on the attack on the internet is so much stronger position than being on defense. I don't know what that means, but okay. Knight Calvary Weeping Peninsula. I think it's this. Yeah. Wait, is it?
I don't know. I'm done looking. Knights Calvary, you passed it. Okay, thank you. Uh, I think the Bloodhound's the one where you get that one weapon that everybody uses. Fuck, man, the game keeps crashing. Dude, maybe maybe it was all fabricated in your mind. like these guys sets of gear too i realize though that like discoverability in this game is butt cheeks even if you do like full discovery it's just you get fucked Can you not just control f and type of what you're looking for if i don't know what the name of the boss is though so how would i control f if I don't know the name of the boss. Huh, bitey? Instigating bitch? Hey, you trying to play some hell card tonight, dog? Wish it was date night tonight and such. Leaving what the you hell am I walking like into a new home? Things. Where am I? All right. What up, Sean? Thank you for the 77 months. I don't know. You've been here before. So basically, we're never playing Hell Card again. Who wants to play Hell Card with me tonight since Bitey's a hoe? I would like to play tomorrow, though. I can't really play that game by myself, dude. I mean, I can. I just don't want to have to manage three decks of cards, you know? Versus just one. This window feels unfamiliar to me. I'm old and don't like change. Hmm. I don't know what you not liking change has to do with whether you've been here or not. What do you mean? Next time I'm free is like Saturday evening. Mm-hmm. Right. You have to go to... God damn, Jay. So Sunday you're busy, Monday you're busy. I see where, I see where this is going, dog. I see it. Mm-hmm. I 
I think there is a... Yeah, there's a grace over here. Where can I see which class I took? I don't know. Is that your headboard behind you? No, man. Why are you special? That's what I want to know. Why the fuck are you so special? Jay. Is this helpful to you? Huh? Do you see where I'm at? What's chat complaining about now? It's just Sean being an old shit. I'm old and decrepit. Toy. Being fucked on right now. It's very dark in there, and I was just confused. Is it actually pretty dark right now? I suppose it is. I, I'm gonna go turn on my lights, actually. Please, nothing murder me. Here be the vast oasis of nothing while Joe goes and shits. Is that better? Everything's turned on now, including me. I didn't realize these guys make a noise. Okay, here's a fight that I may come back to. We'll see. I'm liking it, Sean. It's fun. This actually is a good time, though. It is. Yeah, the first person mod, is. I, I, I feel like I do better against bosses, but maybe I'm it high. better be the long way, Jay, or I'm out.
Damn, got my ass. You can get blade for this. Don't forget. I, I don't think I need his help though. With a grilled cheese and ramen. Sounds nice. Hey man, where are my souls at? Here they are. That's not how that's supposed to work. say you need him just giving you all your possible tools yeah i get it i understand <laughs> you know you know what I mean dude we out here doing the thing brother hell yeah I almost feel like I'm doing better in first person man I mean granted these aren't like huge fights or anything but still when I first tried this mod I was like there's no way I'm doing any fight in this I think it started as a profit. Hmm. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. I ain't the man to ask. I know nothing of this game either.
Is there a way to save that girl from dying, by the way, over at this bridge area? Looks so easy when watching you. Dude, just try to try to play it in first person. Maybe that'll help you. What's up, Ronimus? See that asshole up there? Those two guys, I fucking hate them. get up there uh how do i do that oh man this guy's still gonna fucking hit me too see that shit oh does my shit not travel that far no, it do. I got my own magic, magic man. Actually, hold on. Wrong button. Ooh. That completely missed. There you go. Remember chess porting me to an area where I got absolutely shat on. I can almost guarantee you I know exactly where that one's at. It's like right over there. You probably fought some dogs and old people. And you got trapped. Like, was there like a centipede in that area by any chance? Something that just kept spitting fucking webs at you? Like you got deported to a cave? It was a cave. I know exactly which one you're talking about. Right next to it. Show me. Okay. I guarantee you it was right here. That's where you got bopped up right there, brother. Also, why is the map so fucking blurry? There's a chest in here that ports you way the fuck over here somewhere. Isn't there a huge dragon in, in that lake? Yes. Uh, I think I set this up wrong, by the way. 
I need that. I mean, that's, I feel like that's how it should be, though, right? Just you gandering, perusing, checking things out. Failure is part of the journey. Being murdered? He said, yeah, sure. Oh, dude, the dismounter. That's kind of nice. How do I crouch? X? The great peoplely. We're out. Was trapped in that cave, I had no idea how to get out. Did you just like stop playing the game right there? Like that's where you gave up? You're just like, fuck this dude. I continued and later on somehow got to an area which was all red sky. Mm. Yeah, I don't think you're supposed to be in that area. Like that area is pretty OP. Kaled, the one with the big ass like dog heads and birds and shit that just dumpster you. Slicing up wildlife, no biggie. I'm trying to get some beast bones and shit so I can make arrows so I don't have to like buy them from people. They come in so handy, like really good. dead. I want to fucking fight the ussy mommy. Got 
guy made me rage so hard. You have to understand that I've I fought that guy several times. Like this isn't my first playthrough. I've only done one playthrough, but even then that one playthrough didn't cover all the bosses. Like I didn't even fight Melania because I was like, fuck this shit. I value my sanity. I value my time. I don't need to fight this boss to beat it. But I was also on some stupid shit too. Like I was obsessed with this idea of putting no points into vigor and unga bungi and everything. You gotta be kidding me. have a lot of souls right now so this time i'm doing the exact opposite i'm going like full fucking hp and i'm just working with what i got all games nowadays are so easy so pick this back up and play it you make it hard on yourself then get upset that it's hard dude i know i i do that to myself sometimes but at least i learned my lesson Hello, fuck boy. Twenty-four vigor should be plenty for Stormvale. I'm going higher, baby. All right, we, we're not fucking around today. I'm using all the things, man. I, I'm not fucking around. No cares in the fucking world. I don't care about what the community thinks is honorable and not. I don't care what they think is like, oh, dude, that's for bitches. Oh, dude, that's for fucking. That's for shitters, bud. Well, I guess. What the fuck is this guy doing? What's he doing? Okay. Going to have more eight. Wait, wait, wait. Going to have more HP than you do flasks. Well, we don't need to be max HP. We just need to not die. I'm never going to be in a position to be one shot again. I will use everything that the game has to offer me. Sold me a good bet on the first person thing. Too bad you've already beaten the game though. You going to go back and play again? I wonder what the magic is like in this mode. Just remember to disable certain settings so you're not getting like motion sick and shit. It's 
like VR but without the motion sickness. Yeah. I think just what it does for me, and I've mentioned this a lot of times, is like, just look how big the castle is. Like, it never felt this big playing in third person. But now that you're in first person, like, this place seems gigantic. Oh, shit! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That did nothing? It looked like I took stamina damage when I fell. Also, another thing that's pretty big about first person mode is I actually see the skybox. Like when I play the game, I'm playing like this most of the time, right? You know, the way you like move around, the way you're looking for things, you're doing this a lot and you're missing the skybox. First person, you have no choice but to see the skybox, dude. Look at this. That's insane. <clears throat> I'll believe it when I see it, Chriso. Imagine that sword with RTX. I wonder if I can actually turn RTX on right now. Sometimes these these games, like as you get, as they like age a bit, you can get away with turning those settings on. Like The Witcher, for example, when the game first came out, you could not use the Nvidia hair works. Let's see, settings. Turn it on high. All right, return to this. I, I don't have high hopes for RTX working, but let's see. I'm not really noticing a difference here. My FPS did take a hit though. Could probably get away with like low. I don't think the settings applied. No, it's just having it on eats my shit. better well 
this is done. What's down here? No, same thing with like hair works and shit. None of it's worth it. It's all gimmicky. Eventually it's worth it. Hello. Yeah, welcome, valued customer. Cardies, buy something. I'm hungry. I've been hungry so long. Did some research on my situation with DD2. Found that it was almost running entirely off of my CPU instead of my GPU. Changed the setting, and now I've only crashed like once since. It's been nice to enjoy DD2 without crashing. Frames still aren't the greatest, but it's playable. Word. 1500. We have a, a hand axe here. I want to buy these, though. I'm going to buy these, but I'm going to have to use some of my shit. But I guess that's what they're there for. Yeah, I saw some really OP move with the magic archer. Ah, how nice. Where you drain your health and like the more you drain your health, you get like bigger deeps. Remember never using those runes because I never, I had no idea what they're there for. You got to read these damn descriptions, Jay. Used to gain runes. Are you worse than me than about reading shit? Open for business. I have not eaten yet today, chat. Uh, and my stomach's not hungry. Weird. It could be because I ordered 30 wings last night and I regretted the purchase the entire time I ate it. I was like, damn, th th this shit just ain't worth. So I was like, you know what? When's the last time I ever fucking bought myself something over like $10? Still regretted it. Dude, this this kind of game, dude, requires reading, man. It does. I mean, I guess it doesn't if you don't care about the story, but... Oh, shit. Hmm. We cheese around these parts, brother man. Oh! Dude, I tried fighting one of these guys like down the block in first person mode. That ain't it. Yeah, I hear him howling, but I need to go grab that one fucking move from that guy. The sale guy. The, you know, the merchant guy. 30 wings alone? Are you depressed? I'm a big dude. 
Like I'm, a, I'm slightly like thick, you know, I got a little bit of fat layer on me, but like I'm 6'2", 220. Your man's has got to eat. Your man's has got to eat. And it's not like the wings were big. Next to, oh yeah, I forgot I had talismans. I can put on fire damage negation, enhances roar and breath attacks, and char ooh, charge attacks? That could be good. That counts as this. Uh, traditional. Yeah. Because the boneless is just chicken nuggets, which there's nothing wrong with, but you get that flavor in the meat with the bone. I too like chicken nuggets. I do, but when it comes to the wings, I'd rather have bone in. The flavor is absolutely different. Like boneless wings, the flavor comes from like the breading and whatever sauce you're using, right? Okay, so I need to take my candy ass yonder. Wait, well, you're back. About the howling? Howl of, I suppose. Next time you hear the wolves howl. Make this signal right under the source. Oh, don't fret. There is nothing to fear. I just have an inkling the two of you might hit it off. Yep, the finger snap. You can buy these cracked pots. I don't need these clues. Goodbye. Goodbye. Fighting for the meat tastes better than weak, defenseless meat. What up, Zed? And now I want wings. Hey, man, it's Friday. I see no problems here. Treat yourself. Actually, doesn't this cotton slow your fall? Yeah, temporarily reduces fall damage, sound, and sound of footsteps. There's blood grease. Does this stack? Does blood grease stack? Are you buying? Fuck no, dude. I just spent like $40. It was like 40 or 50 I forget. I never spend that kind of money on me when it comes to food. What was I doing in here? Ah, yes. Give me more HP. Yes. I think I'm fucking around. All right, so before we forget, actually, there is a boss here that we are gonna fucking fight eventually. So we gotta do a marker boss. Okay, we got that. There, There's gonna be a, a fucking another boss here. The dragon boy. See, when this game first came out, none of this existed. They didn't have this kind of shit here. They didn't tell you where people were on the map. He does have 20k subscribers. I do? 
Do I? Where? We just got to figure out how to use these damn emotes. Jay, this motherfucker's oh, tall. Busy body. Hmm. Maybe to him you don't seem so strange. The name's Blythe. I'm looking for a man who goes by Darrowell. He did. He fled somewhere nearby. Or so I've heard. Come tell me if you find him before I do. I can offer you ample reward. Like, dude, look. He's a fucking giant. Darrowell is nothing but a traitor. How did you know you needed to snap your finger? I mean, I, I played this part before, but when you go talk to that version that I just did, he, after you hear the howling here and you go back to that merchant, which I don't know how you would ever fucking know that. Like if you're playing the game blind, you would never know that. But he tells you if you hear the howling snap, he gives you an emote and you snap your fingers here. But again, I don't know how the fuck you would know that it going in blind. You would absolutely miss something like that. Uh, and then I got to go up here. This game has a weird way of doing quests, man. Oh, shit. I see something over there I have to get. Didn't one of the merchants say it? Yeah, the one that I just came from. Kale? He says it, but like... <sighs> you gotta look at it from like a new player's perspective, right? You're probably not going back to that merchant. Ever. So... It's, it's all based on just... Chance. Like I had a, I had a Google half of these quests when I was playing. Here's your prize. And I always reference it. Can you imagine if the internet did not exist when Elden Ring came out? How many things would still be a secret to this day? Nutty, fucking nutty. I know a lot of the quests from like this beginning area just because of how many times I've restarted it. But basically once I get past the academy, I have no idea what I'm doing. Bitch. We got fucking baddies over here, man. Did these guys get like empowered at night? Oh my God, Jay.
dumpster. A rickety shield. Yeah, there's like certain quests like where if you don't meet them at a specific area at a specific time, they just don't show up. And like if you miss that quest, there's a chance that it just deletes that quest. It is crazy. Must be the new tarnished. You do well to steer clear of a gill like fledgling. A dragon roosts there, and it's as fearsome. Can't you kill this guy and take his Uchi Katana? Stay clear of the lake. Don't. Don't. It's not an Uchi. Oh. Well, it's it's Uchi like. Uchi esque, if you will. He said, actually, there's a difference. I'll have you know. Are there any quest markers at all? I mean, no, there's not. No, there really is not. here you see those little rings on my screen right now those are enemy indicators to show you when they're behind you Don't sleep on these smoldering butterflies. And the golden thingy leads you through the story, right? <laughs> I I want to say no. They don't. Because the way that they fucking present that shit to you is even in itself is confusing as shit. Who's holy damage negation? The Ubisoft version of Elden Ring. What are you talking about? It diverts after a bit, but eh. It's supposed to give you a general idea of where to go, but I remember there being so many on the screen. I was like, where do I go, man? I think I was like level 60 by the time I got to the academy because I was confused. I didn't know where else to go because there was a fucking door I was missing inside of the academy. So I just assumed I completed everything in there when I really didn't. Dude, this is going to suck. These crabs don't fuck around, man. Okay, well. Don't mind if I do then. I already know what game Hax is playing this weekend. It's this. When Ubisoft devs were crying about how they shouldn't be compared to Elden Ring, someone made a meme picture that a Ubisoft UI of Elden Ring. 
I mean, their idea of Elden Ring is just making Assassin's Creed with a different skin and same with Far Cry. Could you do this game in VR? I would not be able to. It would be exhausting. VR is really tiring. Yeah, VR takes training, oddly enough. And I think that's enough to turn people away. It's like, who the fuck wants to be ill when they game? For a few handful of titles to play? Ain't worth it. Hold on, dude. I fucking see... Hate these fucking things, dude. Got an ultra wide yesterday. I've been eyeing a monitor recently. I really want to get a 4K monitor, like a 4K 60, because I don't need 144 hertz. But dude, I want one so bad. Playing games, my, my graphics card can absolutely play games at 4K 60, which I was very surprised about. Oh God. Mummy! There you go. Oh, the unsheathed one. There you go. Nice. I, dude, as someone who's used a 144 Hertz monitor for ages now, it's only good for like, you know, like shooters and shit. Beyond that, I find no value. I would rather my games look better at this point. Like I don't, and, and honestly, PC gaming fucking sucks in terms of optimization anyways. So you're, you're lucky if you get 144 Hertz in these games, it doesn't matter what kind of fucking PC you got. If devs aren't developing for the game to perform properly, it doesn't fucking matter what your rig is. The meme image Lemons was talking about. Yep. Sounds about right. You got to include a pause screen with uh, the ability to buy currency and all that. Bruh, Ubisoft devs can't even take more than like a year to develop a game. What makes you think they're going to set aside time to ever make an Elden Ring game? They'll just release smash hits like Assassin's Creed, Mirage, and Far Cry 6 and blow their entire budget on a celebrity. It's genius, really. I mean... I'm so fucking over Ubisoft games, bro. Wake me up when they make something good. Siege is the only okay game I have. Speaking of which, Dev Shua uh he's a viewer that pops up every once in a while now but he's actually like the lead game designer on that game like the yesterday i paid seven bucks yeah. for a fucking cabin what up box thing for the 46 months
he worked on Ubisoft titles. Uh, I think he worked on Watch Dogs 1 or 2. Uh, what other fucking game did he work on from Ubisoft? I think he started working on, on uh, Valhalla. Assassin's Creed Valhalla. And then he like took the lead designer at Rainbow Six Siege. Man, Splinter Cell better be fucking good because they've been making every version of Splinter Cell but a Splinter Cell game. They're like, here's a skin. Here's like some weird ass mobile game nobody asked for. Man, fuck Skull and Bones. Now, now don't get me wrong. Like if, if those are games that you enjoy you shouldn't care about what I have to say about that. You know what I mean? Like this isn't some contest to defend your favorite game. I'm just saying as a gamer, Ubisoft games have been stinking butt lately. I remember, I still remember to this day that I don't remember what splinter cell it was, but I remember they showed a scene of a guy being interrogated in a restroom and he fucking smashed his head against the sink and broke it. And I was like, bruh, what the fuck? This is amazing. Maybe soft games have been absolutely fucking ass. I personally, my opinion is because they focus too much effort on microtransactions and not the quality of the game. See, it would be different if we're creating a game and then including microtransactions after the game's already complete. But games these days, especially Ubisoft games, they design games around microtransactions, right? And that's why you see the quality of their games going down is because they are building the game in mind of how do I get money out of your pocket, not let's make a fucking full game. Wake up, sheeple. Is there any way to save this lady? Wait, doesn't actually... This lady, I think, appears somewhere else eventually. Hello? Is somebody there? She, like, Don't dies but comes back. Moment, please. My name is Irina. I've escaped from Castle Morn to the south. The servants there have rebelled. I... I can't be sure what it is. My eyesight's been weak since birth, you see. But I swear I heard frightful howling from all over. My good father secreted Spoiler me. Spoiler if you want. I don't care about spoilers. To stay. So like if I'm missing a he quest step, duty. then by by all means, please educate. I don't care. I the servants who since come, I fear it's no lease. Would you mind in my soul wish, please? Thank you, then please. Please. Deliver please, please, please. Please. She dies when you tell her dad he goes to her corpse and cries right and then eventually you run into the guy who goes insane and then you have to kill him like he's up in the academy somewhere on the west side of the map i liked most of the splinter cells if not all of them one thing I never got into is the spies versus mercs, though. I was so shit at that game. It's just a shame you don't get those cool, quirky multiplayer types of things in, like inside your games anymore. Everybody just focuses on like free to plays and BRs and shit and it ends up being dog shit. 
and then you just get like another dog shit game. I said it earlier, but dude, nobody wants to take risks anymore on games and like makes something unique. Fuck! Oh. I miss the artistic freedom devs used to have for games. Where the rune bear is am i gonna get fucked up by this thing the answer is yes this is absolutely a fucking rune bear cave you meet kenneth height yet you can kill him for a golden seed i don't know who that is so probably not they prefer to follow trends agreed that's why it's like you see one successful game that comes out and then the next five years, all you see is just copies of that game. Like there, there, it's just like there, there's imitation and then there's inspiration. And oftentimes developers just imitate. They just want to make the same thing, different name, different skin. Instead of like creating their own unique experience and like being inspired by Elden Ring or one of those games, they're just like, yeah, but let's just copy it. Why don't we just copy it? It's a small games that take risks. I just feel like there should be more risk overall and I understand why it doesn't exist, but I don't have to like it either. You see this little trap here, man? I see this shit. It's weird and backwards. Yep. Near the forest with Blade ask you to clear his fort. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, he's like up on a fucking archway or some shit. And then you have to go clear the castle and you come back and you say, yeah, I did that. And then he goes back to the castle and just sits there. Is that like the end of his quest line or is there something more to it? More money, more risk. Yeah, but that doesn't happen in this industry. It's just more money. No risk. They just gobble up developer studios and shut them down. They give them unrealistic standards to complete, and then they shut them down when their game doesn't succeed. Because they didn't have time to develop, like, a full game. Yeah, it's like more money, less risk. Like that BZ on fire. Hi ya, bitch! Hi ya! Hi ya! Dude, I love having HP. I fucking love it, dude. You dirty rat. He has one intertwined with Gideon's daughter. Okay. Well, I probably don't want to kill him then for a seed. I meant from the investor perspective, if you invest more money, there is a higher risk that you will not get them back. Yeah, but we don't care about investors. I don't care about investors because investors aren't human as far as I'm concerned. When you sacrifice the, the, the integrity of an entire studio for the sake of financial gain, you're no longer a human to me. You're not. I could not care less what a fucking investor has to say about anything related to gaming. Until they learn that you can make money and make a good game at the same time, which apparently they don't look at anything in this industry and understand that. Do you think I could see that hole from up above? 
might not be able to make the game if you don't take the investor money up front. I, I mean, hey, I, I get it, but I think we need a little bit more ethical of an investor, TBH. Like, what are they called? Angel investors? Like, the ones that realize there's a high risk, but they're still willing to invest in it anyways? I don't know, man. It's just, like I, I want better games like Elden Ring, you know? I, I want more high quality games. Like I will, I will spend one hundred dollars if it means getting quality a quality game like this. Hands fucking down, I will pay you more money. If the whole thing is well, games are so expensive to develop now, which I don't necessarily agree with. But like the whole thing is, like you're making more money than you've ever made before. Like, I will pay. It's not about penny pinching with me. It's about giving me a quality game and making it feel like my dollar, like this was well worth the investment. But nobody wants to do that. They're like, $70 shit title, best I could do. And you're like, oh, okay, well, that's dog shit. It's rune bear fucking time. And I'm going to be the one that gets fucked. Wait, can I not? Can I not do it here? Oh, dude, I can't summon shit here. Uh oh. That's what everyone said with the $70 jump. Yeah, but then you get $70 titles like Dragon's Dogma 2 that comes out. Not saying the game's ass or anything, but as someone who's played through the entire game, it's not $70. It's not fucking $70. Where am I? Oh my god, he, I stunned him? Mommy! He stunned again? Oh my god? I personally enjoyed Forspoken, and while I can acknowledge the game wasn't the best, I think it's it's the best magic combat I've ever seen in this industry. Or you get Helldivers 2, which I would gladly pay $70 for. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, I can see that. I feel a certain way about, like, live service games, but yeah. That's definitely more worth $70 than some of these other games that have come out. I love the Forspoken demo. I mean, its performance was dog shit when it came out. Even on fucking console, it was dog shit. Well, I think it originally only released on console. Like, the FPS on console was dog shit. The fucking voice acting was a bit cringy. Like, the NPCs were garbage. But, like, the magic combat, dude, is easily the best magic in the industry. No fucking question about it. How about that other magic game with the with the giant ships and shit, huh? I th I think Forspoken is just a classic example as to these. Fu Look at this fucking scene right here, dog. God damn. Uh, it's just a classic example of, like, rushing studios to do things. Like, I'm sorry. I thought investment was about, like, providing money up front and you get the extra leftover profit. Is that not the whole fucking point of investing? Is, like, they get the leftovers? That's the whole point? 
but instead games are being developed around investors needs like why it's selfishness man speaking of immortals of avium free playstation plus game this month typically like the dollar per hour rule and we'll probably crack 100 hours in hell divers i okay so i used to live by that rule too right like dollar per hour to tell if your investment's good but then you look at games like assassin's creed like that game has over 100 hours of content but is it fucking fun no it's not fun it's fucking monotonous it's like it feels like a fucking chore doing anything in that game like it's fun for about like 10 15 hours and then beyond that you're like damn it's just more of the same shit over and over again it's and the shit's just been re-imprinted on a different section of the map and you're like bro please make it end great examples Baldur's Gate 3 most of Larian's money comes from a previously released titles early access sales from Baldur's Gate 3 and their own people like Swen studio chief executive officer and his wife are the majority shareholders since he is also the director of the game they can do what they want or last of us where you might only play it once for 30 ish hours but it's worth the 60 exactly and that's like a good example of like where the dollar per hour doesn't necessarily have to fit like the last of us is a great game you know and yeah you're probably getting about 30 hours out of that but for 60 bucks absolutely love these games that aren't for everyone well there's a saying i don't remember who said it it's probably abraham lincoln uh but a game for everybody is a game for nobody big facts I, and it's the same with streaming everybody's like trying to like be inclusive of everybody but the problem is is like when your community is for everybody it's a community for nobody you have to accept that your community or your game is not going to be for every single crowd and you should continue to work on what you enjoy and love and if you know people don't like that that's that's okay but that's not your that's not your problem Talk to the Outward 2 dev. Wait, they're making an Outward 2? No, when did you? What, dude? Hell yeah, brother. That's exciting news. I'm dying. Mommy! Mommy! Fucking hell, Jay. My God. So he doesn't want to make a game for everyone. Recently read the reviews of people bitching about need to drop off your backpack before combat or how the combat was a little stiff. Yeah, but Outward's an older game too. Like Outward was good for its time and still is. Like, oh no, you gotta press a button to drop your backpack. Fun fact, you don't have to drop your backpack. You don't. I'm pretty sure I kept my backpack on in battle most of the time. The only issue I had with Outward was if you're the host, you take all aggro. So Bitey was the tank, but he couldn't fucking tank any of the mobs because I was host. So all the enemies were always fighting me. That's crazy. I had no idea. Did they officially announce they're working on two? 
That's amazing news. It was announced earlier this month. Here's the trailer. Oh, that's why we missed it then, because we haven't been watching game trailers. Well, now I got to watch it. It's been 50 long years. Every day remains a struggle for our people. Every step forward is paid in blood. That's no reason to give up. You know that better than anyone. But I have you. How many others have a goddess looking after them? Not I mean, graphically, it looks the same from are, one. My dear Simi, even so, they are not alone. They have each other's back when it matters. I have seen them chase their dreams. Dude, I, I like the backpack mechanic. At every turn, they surprise me with their adaptability, their resilience, and their grit. You know the dangers they face. Only the exceptional can overcome those odds. Oh, I remember. Well, uh, another uh, another criticism I had of the game is only having four slots. There is a mod for Outward One where you can put more slots on your screen. Easily made the experience ten times more enjoyable. Darling, even ordinary people can do extraordinary things. Look how far our world has expanded. All because they chose to venture into the unknown. Don't hold their hand. Just the environments look like an upgrade. And they'll do the rest. Looks like you also get your a little mule pet to carry all your goods too. That's awesome. I wonder how pathing is with that though. That's gonna be a nightmare. Hell yeah, brother. Do we know when this bitch is coming out? Probably not. Yeah. I'd say 2026. Was that Hatter or Bitey? I played with Bitey. Yeah, he was the tank. I was the mage. I see. Well, my friend, I'm going to have to see if I got something to cure that. It also depends if they're going to fucking put that shit in early access or not. Dude, if we could just stop putting games in early access, that would be tight. Like, please just finish the fucking game and release it. The backlash you get for releasing a shitty game versus, like, delaying a game is wildly different. I saw a game the other day that released at 1.0 Early Access, and what game was that? One point oh was the first it was the version of early access. That's insane. Or freaking twenty year early access games. And well we already know what games you're talking about. Luckily those are a bit far and few between, but still frustrating. Well just don't buy the game. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. 
guess I'll just never play video games again. Considering every game is early access. And even if it's not early access, it's early access. So guess I just won't play video games anymore. Dumbass logic. I like Seven Days to Die. I think the game has been milked in early access. But I don't think anything would also change if they took it out of early access. Like, they're still working on the game. Right? So what? what's this... Like, if they took the if they took the, the stance of like uh no man's sky released the game in full access and then just continued working on the game it's no different than just the game being in early access seven days booth for the console version i just want games to be good dog okay And to be fair, games have improved immensely in the graphical department. I fucking love this game right now. First person mode. Easily best fucking mod for this game. There's also very in early access, like Nightingale and Enshrouded. Okay, but we cannot be putting Enshrouded and Nightingale in the same category. Okay, Enshrouded is a god tier fucking game for what it is. Uh, not saying Nightingale's bad. I'm just saying I feel like they're in their own league. play the broken as fuck mod for what big titty melanie mod is best mod i didn't even know that existed i've seen a, a shit ton of nude mods for this game which i have no interest in participating in no what's the broken as fuck mod what's that i saw someone playing as a tank the other day Surely you don't. Dude, listen, I, I love a good looking woman. I, I truly do, but I don't feel like everything needs to have a nude mod for it, man. I just don't. I love a nice pair of titties. I love a nice thick ass, but like, I don't feel like we need this much fucking nudity in our games, Jay. Not modded in. Like of all the things, dude, like you were talented enough to create a nude mod. Which means you have some basic understanding of what it is to modify a game. And of all the quality of life features you could create to make the game better, you're like, just strip them of their clothes. What is this? Final Stand Ragnarok. That sounds familiar. Let me, let me look this up. 1.0 patch notes, but it's still early access. You're right, dude. What the fuck is that? 1.0 means finished. What up, technical? Oh, and, and then like uh, early access means many different things. Early access, once the money grubbing AAA studios got a hold of it, means that you get access to the game early, but then they don't want you judging the final product. So when you get the product and it's the exact same thing, Battlefield Battlefield 2042 is a great example. They sold you early access to the game, right? Pay us an extra 20 bucks and you get early access to the game, but this is not the final build. But yet when the game comes out a week later, it's the final build. That's not going away, by the way. The, the three days early access, that is that is becoming standard right now.
And it's like the, the, the fucked up thing about gaining early access to the game, you can't leave reviews on it on Steam until it fully releases. I'm dying. Run away. Oy! Sliced up. Omega sliced up. It's a dog. Do you have early access to the early access beta? I don't think they'll release it in early access, right? I'm immediately suspicious of games that release their game three days early access. Look at Payday 3. They did the same thing. Shit game. Uh, it's the same with my not so sound theory of the more trailers I see for a game, the shittier it's gonna be. Forspoken kind of proved me wrong on that. But when a game shows you like guides and shit for games that like haven't released yet, they're like, how to play our game in an 18 video guide. Fuck. Uh, the same concept goes though for uh, games that give you three days early access if you pay them more money. It, I, I, I think it's shit. Starfield. While I enjoyed Starfield, I agree with you. I think Starfield is, uh, it's just not that good of a game. Like, why are there only like three factions to ever fight? Why do we rarely ever see the alien portion of the game? Why are there like five points of interest spread across the entire fucking galaxy? Makes no sense, dude. Telling you, chat, I feel like I'm better at the combat now that it's in first person. Weird, I know. That's what I'm saying. The Terror Morph mission, like where you join the Navy and shit, like that was actually a proper mission made, but everything else was so fucking ass. And then don't even get me started on the optimization of the game. Dog shit. Like the very beginning of Starfield, you see the terror morphs, right? You're like, oh fuck. And then nothing happens with it until you do the Navy mission. And then nothing happens with it. On, man, you fucking cunt. Sliced up. Sliced up. You're done, buddy. The alien that's world ending, you rarely encountered it. Yes, unless you were really specifically looking for those missions on planets, it was ass. Yeah, but if you're looking for a challenge with your fucking uh, Bethesda games, forget about it. They don't know how to balance in their games. Been like that forever.
What's up, Nick? Game pass for the win, indeed. Although I think they're going to sweep the rug out from underneath people eventually with uh, the game pass. Like, the game pass is a no-brainer value, right? But I think it's just a way of them to, like, get you into the pass and then start taking features away. Like, look at Netflix, for example, right? Like, they really sell you on the value of what Netflix has. And then slowly but surely, over the course of years, they start taking features away, like password sharing, screens, and then they charge you more for less features. It's exactly what's going to happen with the Game Pass. We finished with Starfield spoilers. Uh, maybe. I don't know. Listen, man, that's your fault. All right, the game fucking came out 20 years ago, and you still haven't played it, you dummy. Get your shit together, bud. You suck. What up, Jess? Then drop ads in as well. I think that's what's happening with the Game Pass. I do. Now, granted, we have not seen them necessarily take anything away outside of, like, removing games from the Game Pass, but that's just due to exclusivity shit. I, I feel like it's going to happen eventually. We're going to be at a point where it's like, damn, look at all this value. And then over the course of a few years, price hikes. And you're like, damn, what happened to the game, though? What happened to the pass? Some devs don't like Game Pass. I feel like... Baldur's Gate 3 deserves every penny they got. And they're a shining example of what the industry should be, but won't be. You know? I'm finished yet. Like I do I want to be optimistic for this industry? Yes. But year after year, it's progressively just been getting worse. Like, how do you remain optimistic about an industry that time and time again is shoving garbage down your throat? Like, yes, there are diamonds in the rough. There are games like Elden Ring and that are, uh, you know, Baldur's Gate 3 that are perfect examples of what the industry could be. But there's just far more shitty games and then you just become like pessimistic and jaded about it. You're like, I'll believe it when I fucking see it. And then time and time again, a game comes out, performs like dog shit, has no content, but has a fully functioning battle pass, has a fully functioning microtransaction shop. And then you're just like, oh, okay, well, would you look at that? Apparently, Xbox is making a handheld device like the Steam Deck. Hey, man, as long as it's fucking better than the Switch, okay? Good God. I don't agree with your Netflix comparison. Netflix's business is renting movies and TV shows. Microsoft business are services, software, and AI. We're talking about the Game Pass, though. They can lose money on the Xbox Game Pass if the budget balance out for the other areas. But let's just assume that the budget isn't balancing out anymore. You're assuming that they just have infinite money on that side of the playing field so they can take that loss. But, like, what happens when they can't take that loss anymore? You don't think that Netflix or, or Xbox Game Pass is going to do the same shit Netflix does? They have infinite money. I'm just saying, dude, I, I understand where you're coming from, but you'd be foolish to think that that can't happen. I hope it doesn't happen. What does this turtle shell do again? I, I've heard good things about it. Shield boosts stamina recovery speed. Mm. Mm. Well, my friend, and this is why it pays to read those things. I don't think I need to actually use it though. Do I? Can't it just like sit on my back? Handheld market is crazy good now. Nintendo needs to step it up big. They won't. 
get that out of your head right now. Nintendo does not want to improve. All right. And Nintendo's whole business model is being like a generation behind everybody else. Nintendo will never improve, okay? They will keep producing Mario games for the years to come. And you will get the same old drivel garbage that's been peddled. I didn't say they would, Joe. Said they need to. Right, and I'm just saying, get that idea out of your head. It's pointless. It's a passive effect, so I think it still works. So it doesn't need to be on my back to, to work. Price can for sure get higher, and ads have already been implemented. Ads have been on my Xbox dashboard since, like, they phased out the Xbox Blades dashboard. They are building an entire ecosystem so they could self-promote their own business. So I'm kind of curious, though, Chriso, if Microsoft has infinite money, why did they shut down Mixer? If we're talking about bringing people into their ecosystem, why did they shut down Mixer? You still need to have it equipped, but it can be on your back, too. When two-handing. Okay. Well, if health becomes a big issue, then I suppose we could look at... Or not health, but stamina. Listen, I liked the fact that Miss Mixer existed and they had, like, cool little mini things going on, but I did not like the fake community that they were trying to... Uh, they were trying to curate over there. Their whole idea was, like, everybody raids everybody. We're one big family. And you know what that reminds me of? A toxic workplace. Like, where all the streamers are like, yeah, dude, we're on Mixer. We're fucking cool. Everybody's hanging out, dude. Hell yeah. Send some love my way, brother. Hell yeah. Support small streamers type shit. And it's just like, it's just leeches leeching off of each other. But like, they're masking it in a way that makes it seem like they're community building. And it's like, dude, I can read between the lines. Because the issues with leadership are in behind the scenes drama, 100% was they didn't want the hassle and negativity focus. Right, but again, if if Microsoft has infinite money, why wouldn't they just change out the leadership and continue what Mixer had instead of blowing millions of dollars on some fuckboy ninja? Like, I don't understand why we're investing all of our money in shitty big content creators when they could have, like, actually built a community-focused platform that wasn't toxic positivity. They could, they just decided that the overhead was too much. Uh-oh, they cumin. I'm gonna lose them right quick. Like, I appreciate your positivity, Chriso, and I think it's needed, especially as a nice contrast to who I am as a person. Well, sometimes I think you're silly as fuck, Jay. And I'm sure you think the same of me. Is this good? Oh, it's not dead. Hey, don't you make fun of the way he pronounces words. He's Norwegian. There were some racial episodes that appeared and things were starting to build up in tech and gaming news sites. 100% for sure they closed down because of that. And since they print money, they didn't care about the Ninja Shroud deal. No, man. I feel like they could have done some real big things with Mixer, dog. But maybe, maybe I'm just too stupid to understand the uh, 
intricacies of business running. Well, I know one of the beasts is chilling right here. hi yeah, bitch! I remember this shit being bugged as fuck, too, on release. And I know one's up in a tree somewhere. I think. That might be a different area, actually. I know there's an invisible one down here. Is Mixer doing well at any point? I mean, not as good as Twitch, obviously. I think you are looking at the greater and more positive side. Am I? Am I the fucking baddie, dude? Am I the baddie? In this case, the goodie? This bitch said, no you. Listen, dog, if y'all ain't going to fight back, I don't know what to tell you, brother. Why, what is my character doing? Comparisons to Twitch, but never heard improvements. Yeah, I think it's just, it's a case of like Steam and Epic Games, right? I would rather own all of my games on one platform. And that's, that. I think, I personally think that was the problem with Mixer. Is people, while Mixer wasn't a bad platform, people prefer to have all their subscriptions and streamers on one platform. Twitch is basically Steam. Epic Games was basically Mixer. Or Mixer was basically Epic Games. You know what I mean. Gotta say, the more that I've played this chat, this game is totally doable. First person. Big facts. I wonder why I can see everything in here, but as soon as I go outside, everything's fogged up. I hate all this fog, dude. Oh, there's a boss over here. Like, ask yourself why you didn't go to Mixer. Why didn't you watch Mixer? Or why didn't you, like, go to Mixer more? Because all of your streamers are on Twitch. Why would I want to go elsewhere? We're just like, we're just introducing new launchers now. I did use Mixer. How often in comparison to Twitch though? I mean, again, there's probably an exception to every rule, right? Coming, Jay. Oh, my God. 
god. Mommy. Suppose that's why they paid streamers to join them, just like Facebook gaming. Looks like we're shut down end of July 20 July 22nd, 2020. Microsoft bought Zenimax for 7.5 billion on September 21st, 2020. They had the money. So but that's what I'm saying. It's like, why would you just give up so quickly on Mixer then? Like what if they have the infinite money, what is the harm of keeping Mixer open? give people the option because you never know it's just like taking off as a streamer right it's it's all chance maybe there's some shit that goes down on mixer that just makes you really enjoy it or better yet wait for twitch to fuck up because they love doing that so like it's a waiting game they could have just sat there waited for twitch to fuck up so much where all their fucking content creators go to mixer and they're just like yeah well you know you know, let's just shut down. Yeah, Chris was saying there's internal issues, but just get rid of those people. I bet because of the negative press and the issues with the racial stuff, but Twitch has tons of that. Look at Kick. Kick has the same fucking issue, dude. Kick is like a reject website for streamers that, that just couldn't fucking obey the rules. Maybe it's not fair to use kicking as an example because, you know, money laundering and everything, but, you know. This is the negative press and the issues. Uh, Twitch is only a streaming service. Mixer was a side project for Microsoft. Bro, if I had infinite money, you best believe I would have kept Mixer up and running. If I truly had infinite money, I would have absolutely kept that bitch open. Fire the shitheads. It's only positive press. Hey, guys, you remember those shitheads that were causing problems for uh, Mixer? Yeah, we got rid of them. Look at us. We're the good guys. We listen to you. Like, how is that? I mean, come on. Which is why XQC went there. Uh, dude, XQC is a shit stain on streaming platforms altogether. I don't know who the fuck would pay that man $100 million. I can confidently say I'd pay that man $0 to be on my platform. Matter of fact, you're banned. You're banned before you even come here. Get out of my lobby. I ain't about it. Maybe they couldn't fire people because of legal issues, so they just decided to shut it down shop. They're like, loophole! Everybody's fired now! <laughs> like, what the fuck, dude? Uh, be because, like, you gotta understand, as a streamer, you attract like-minded people a lot of the time. So, when you look at XQC, you have to understand the reason why people watch him is because they're like him. And that's a bit concerning. I'm not going to say I'm like some fucking saint or anything, but I'm also not telling people to kill people or kill themselves because I'm salty over some GTA 5 RP. So I guess in some way I am actually better than him. You know, I also don't rage quit Twitch tournaments uh, because another streamer didn't listen to me. So I guess, yeah, in some way I am better than him. I heard fuck GTA 5 am inserting myself into the conversation. No, now. I didn't say fuck GTA 5. I just think you got some real grown ass adults that act like fucking delinquents on GTA RP. Like, to take RP so seriously is 
one of the most ultimate acts of cringe. Jay, you are role playing a fictional character in a fictional fucking world and your real life feelings are being hurt. That's crazy. I believe it, not sure. I believe it. All right, got ourselves a Dungan here. I, I remember skipping this guy. I don't remember who this guy is, but I remember coming back to him. So be prepared for me to mark. You know what? I'm just going to pre-mark this shit because I know I'm not going to do it. Hmm. Why does this look different now? Do they change the symbol? a lot of like-minded bellins. Well, you know, I'm not the best myself, but according to Microsoft's latest financial reports, the company has $80 billion in cash on hand as of December. Spending money is cash on hand. Yeah, I remember this fucking place. You know, surprisingly, my memory is pretty good here. I don't know why. Is there someone here? See, this is fucking bait. Why is it not using my ultra big dickery ability? Oosh. Dead, buddy. Yeah, here it comes. Dude, overall, I feel like I'm doing way better with this mod. I can actually like look around corners and shit. It's great. Eh, fuck, dude. Hey, does anybody know if using mods in this game disables achievements? And they still kick devs left and right. Kind of sad TBH. I agree. I got like a new mace or something that I meant to check out. Yeah, it was the Morning Star. Causes blood loss buildup. Yo. How much dough? This one has 45. The Morning Star has more blood loss buildup. What the fuck? Okay. That sounds nice.
Oh, fuck these guys. I got to learn this ability. Hold on. What's... What's, uh, what's, what's this weapon have? How do I know? Push. So it's just kick, but you can change that. It's not a big deal. These guys scare me. Oh God, they're munching Jay. They're fucking munching. This is why I dislike them. shots with this fucking builds up a lot. No. Oh, I love having health. I love it. You can't really see yourself swinging with this, though. Just keep coming. Ugh. Yeah, I think they do just keep coming. Aren't there like crabs or something in here? Not quite. Leaving. They just keep respawning. I don't want to ruin your little rune farm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the rune farm isn't that good down here. I just, I'm trying to remember what fucking boss. Oh, Because I, I, I remember just like skipping this boss entirely. Yeah, dude, the Uchi, I can actually see it swinging. This thing, I cannot see it swinging. Stabbing people with a bow? I'm not. It just looks like that because I was wielding it in the other hand. Oh, that's right. Because these assholes had fucking ads. I remember it now, dude. E 
I hate boss fights with ads, bro. Getting tossed a bit. Very good. Very easy win. First try, by the way. Do you or anyone else ever play Street Fighter 6? No. Uh, I'm a huge fan of watching people play F, uh, fighting games, but you'll never catch me playing one. Yeah. That involves a lot of, like, reading your opponent and remembering your combos. Got a couple of bosses to mark off. All right, which ones do I got? Uh, we got Dara Will. Dara Will. Which other ones am I missing? Crafted Scions at the beginning of the game. Was it the Demi Human Queen? No. I did kill the Rune Bear. It was probably Erd Tree Burial Watchdog. Yep, got the Demi Human Ashes. What other one am I missing? So far, so good. Yo, your boy's got some heartburn going on right now. you get for not eating bro I, my stomach's not even hungry i made food this morning and i'm like i i felt ill just thinking about eating you can't mark these if uh okay dude these guys remind me of the prophets from fucking halo Maybe you're just a really bad cook. I didn't even cook the food I, I got last night. Checkmate.
Uh oh. All right, we gotta wait here till night. There's one of those big boys to fight. The uh, the horsemen. Wait, can I change up my Ash of War? Storm Stomp Determination? What does Determination do? What does it do? There's scroll, help, detailed view, and sort. What does it do? Grants affinities and skills to armament. Okay, so what does it do? <laughs> Powering up your next attack. Okay. Well, I mean, it's better than kick. Now I just got to remember to use it. Oh, saw puss a bitch. Oh, God. He got a different weapon, Jay. I see. Do any damage? I don't know. doing I'm feeling very empowered after my attack. Oh God. I'm noticing the range difference. And I'm noticing the damage doesn't seem too high.
Get fucking slapped up, brother. Oh my God. Jay, that move. Oh my Lord. It's like that, that triple combo there. I'm gonna get you, bitch. Baby, you're mine. Hooker? It didn't do a lot of damage. Okay. Not falling for that again. Dude, I got selfish. What's up, Chaos? Almost. I got it. I don't like the uh, the skill that I have on my weapon, though. It doesn't feel very good. It's super fun, man. The first person mod. This is so good. I'm enjoying my time way more. Like, does this just do more damage on the attack? Thank you, Settlers Paribus, for gifting the cows beneath a subscription. Yeah, dude, this weapon has no reach in comparison to the Uchi. Felicia. Oosh. I missed my attack. Did nothing. What's up, Satyrus? Thank you for the gift sub, man. Appreciate you. Happy Friday. You know, 
I know it's coming, but I just let it happen. It's actually pretty functional, man. I might go back to the Uchi for this fight so I can actually hit. are not obligatory it's all good dude but you don't have to watch ads Damn, it's hard to see that when you get too close. Oh, man. sussing you out first if you're gonna be sussy of anybody it's chriso okay what if i go with this spear i've been wanting to fuck with the spear that'll fucking stab him up get chibbed up bruv this seem more or less challenging it almost feels less challenging I don't know why. Initially, it's a bit hard to gauge the distance, but dude, overall, I am very happy with this experience so far. I thought it was going to be a janky mess. I mean, and it might still be like on later difficulties, right? But, or not difficulties, but bosses. But so far, it's it, like I haven't been frustrated with it or anything. It's just been like, oh, yeah. I understand. I'm back, bitch. Spear is not going to be it, is it? Bitch.
fucker just keeps running away. Uh, it is Nexus mod for first person, yeah. Keep in mind, there's an any file that allows you to a little bit more customization too. Like you could change the crosshair. Fucker. So I'm guessing that does nothing. I don't know. Curious why I'm not trying to fight on horseback. I don't know. I've just always done it on foot. Yeah, I've always just done it this way. Something fucker. Dude, this is a nightmare trying to hit this guy. I might just come back and try to fight him later when I got like a longer weapon. <laughs> like what the fuck, dude? get clapped up by that shoulder charge. out of fucking heels. Mommy. I have been streaming for 12 years. My nose is itching. Come on, fucker. No, dude, that's so it's it's so deceiving that distance. Average. trying to go for a full clear this time on the the boss front because i skipped melania last time i was just like dude toxic i don't want to deal with this all right well let's change back to the uchi and see if that gives it, it you know there's any difference in that
I'm going to go ahead and use these responsibly. And that means I'm going to munch them all up more vigor. Pass the time till nightfall. I'll give it like another go or two and then I'm, I'm just going to move on. What's up, bitch? I'm back. Every time that gets me. You know what? I don't appreciate that. Bitch. You fucker! What are you doing? Hey! Yeah. That still hits me. Wow. Okay. All right. Slice, dude. Another slice. Another slice. Oh. What is he doing? Yeah, bitch. your horse, bitch. Oh, is he invincible? Ah, oh, dude, the wombo. The wombo. Oh, no. He's spamming. We got this. Dude, he's going ham right now. <laughs> Bitch. Hell yeah. Barricade shield and Knight Rider's flail. I don't think I can wield that flail. It looks kind of big. Let's see. Equipment. That bitch is heavy. 24 dexterity, dude. I have 15. Am 
gonna equip that again though. The Uchi is really strong, man. It's like too good. Trade again. Be well. Yeah, I'm good. That bitch is heavy is the title of your sex tape. Uh, there is no sex being had here. Checkmate, buddy. Hilarious. these beast bones at give me some thank you mm, where am i at right now oh that's right we got to get the map over here Dude, just grab the thing. I swear to God, dude. Come on, man. You're right there. My golden seed. there's anything else over here in this area just like a bunch of busy work like there's nothing in here there's nothing over in the other side some poison bloom but that's it a few sluggies There's something here? What is this? Okay. He's fucking looking. I don't think there's anything over that way. I'm going to get this checkpoint just in case he dumpsters me. Add a charge. Yes. Uh, level up? We cannot. We need 400 more of this stuff. We'll just use all three. Level. And I'm going to go fight this man's. Oh, 
shit. Two attacks fucks him up. Okay. Okay, wow. I figured that would have lasted a little bit longer. If that's what she said. But here we are. Now this area up here gets a bit sussy. Just a little bit. Damn, look at this place. Killed the dog. Oi. I keep seeing a three stack of enemies out there. Are those the bats maybe? I don't know what that one's doing. Let's do this. Well, that wasn't the right person. Ah, you're one of those, huh? is going on here is toying with me I don't know why but dogs in these kind of games always fuck me up like bloodborne they were fucking assholes in any anything with the dogs immediately suspicious bitch ah the dog behind me lord please I hate him so much, dude. Stunned up, bitch. Come on down. I wonder if this game feels way better because the auto aim isn't fucking cucking me like the lock on. An old thing.
These guys like lizard people? What is this shit? They're like harpy lizards. What's the what, what's their lore here? Ow. There were slaves in this castle. Like, were these humans at one point? Like, why do they look like that? Was this, was that just their species? King was corrupt or something, right? This is the one with the girl by the bridge. Yeah, it is correct. Oh, uh oh. guy has like a omega one. Oh my god. Yeah, this guy's got like hella delayed attacks to fuck with you. guy's fucking me up. What's up? Please. Damn, dude. Rebellion of the Slaves when the Elden Ring Apocalypse happened. So these guys are just like morphed to be morphed. Like they weren't enslaved and then turned into that. They were just enslaved. Fire grease. Oh no, this guy. You know what? You don't beat cheeky, bro. You know, you fucking ain't getting new fucking health, man. Demolished? Eradicated? There's just these creatures. Oh, okay. Ugh. If I could just stop the double attacks, that'd be even better. I think I need to make more of these things, these things. 16. I think Uchi's still kind of superior for range. Claymore. Mm. 
I have no fucking healing, man. Good chance we die up here. Huge gangbang. It'd be nice if I could actually see my weapon. Like the Uchi Katana is pretty good. Like you can see where the blade's slicing and shit. This one's just like you're head banging them or head butting. Surely there's a way I can heal here, right? Like there's an alternate way I can heal. Stamina recovery. I don't think there is. Steel wire torch. Okay, those are you. That's useful on someone. What was that? Something about this was like special. It boosts fire damage dealt. Blow into the torch, spreading flames in a wide front frontward arc. Okay. Scares beasts. Yeah what you said this is really where we're gonna die got these little range dudes up here. bitch right out the sky and I think there's one more over here yeah yeah you don't like all that shit do you boy Some golden runes. So what I could do here is just grab the fast travel point. Because either way, I'm going to have to just run back through everything.
<clears throat> Alright, you know what? That's actually a good spot for us to quit for now. But I'm loving this fucking mod. This is a tight fucking mod. Uh, I'm going to get out of here, chat. But remember, tomorrow is the subathon. I don't know how much time we have added to the subathon just yet, but it's probably around like two hours. So we'll start as soon as we wake up. Uh, maybe we'll we'll continue playing this to start off with, but I don't think it would be the whole stream. I'd like to do some co-op shit with the homies. That'd be fun. Maybe hit up a few rounds of like fucking hell divers or, or some shit. I don't know. Kind of depends on where the day goes, but uh, yeah. Subathon tomorrow, so if you ain't doing nothing, be here tomorrow. Otherwise, GG's. Thanks for hanging out. Appreciate you for being here. Thank you for chatting and lurking. Thank you for the new subs, resubs, gift subs. Appreciate you. And I shall see you tomorrow, okay? All right? Have a good night. Till next time, wash your butt. So